It's what players play for. It's what coaches coach for. And for that matter, it's what broadcasters broadcast for. It's a big one. The 28th meeting between the Jackson Christian Eagles and your Trinity Christian Academy Lions, along with Bradley White on camera tonight, our executive producer and director, Jay Cashin, our director tonight, Philip Robertson. I'm Dave McCulley, along with the legend, Stan Gerard. And Stan, I've set the table for you, buddy. You've got the meat and potatoes. Well, it's that's good, by the way. That's good. Well, I'll, t- I'll take some meat and potatoes. You know, these two teams have played a lot of games over the years, a lot of big ball games between these two teams, but absolutely no game has had more meaning than this ball game tonight. Simply put, the winner of this game is region champion and guaranteed home field advantage through the semifinals of the TWSWA tournament. The loser would get a home game next week and then have to go on the road and take on the middle champion. Then if you win that, go on the road the next week and take the take on the east region champion so a lot of a lot at stake in this ball game it's going to be a, it's a late arriving crowd but it's going to be a good crowd before it's all over and these are two teams that they're not really exactly sending each other postcards in the mail these last couple of weeks if you're on your way and listening to us and watching us bring your jackets it's going to be 74 degrees at kickoff stand if it's anything like last year We'll have to strap ourselves down, especially you. 49-42 last year, Jackson Christian, and a wild, wild football game. It was definitely a one for the ages, so to speak. Just didn't turn out quite the way we wanted, and then we're hoping for a, a big turnaround here this year. You know, you look at, you look at this ball game, a lot of, a lot of big-name players, and we'll talk about those big-name players a little bit later, but this game, I think, is going to be decided by some of the unknowns. I'm not sure who that's going to be yet, but I think this game will be decided by an unknown or unnoticed player that usually flies under the radar during the year. I've done games forever. Tim Haney, the former coach at Trenton Peabody, now the superintendent up there, told me one time he was a very successful high school coach. He told me, Dave, stars tend to offset stars. It's the journeyman. It's the players that no one really thinks about a lot of times that make the difference, especially in a game like this. And this is this is a game where you know we'll, you'll see it in my pregame notes a, a little bit later on. You know, I think it's going to take a defensive or a special team score in this ball game to be the difference. And you remember what it was last year? It was a two-point conversion and two field goals that so were the special, difference in this ball special game. Special teams, no doubt about it. And adding to the flavor of this matchup and this robbery tonight. You may wonder why we're going on early. We came on at 6.15. Philip Robertson, our director, bringing us on. By the way, congratulations to Chase, freshman of the week at Union University in the How conference. How is that now? And let me tell you, is that three times this year? Three times, absolutely. See, I keep up with him, no doubt about it. Well, Philip and Stan, you look at this game tonight and you wonder why we came on early. It's because it's senior night. We'll have the senior festivities at 6.30. Then we'll come back and you'll talk to Coach Bowling after that. We'll do that. We'll We'll talk here for a couple of segments to get you set up, go over some facts and figures. We're going to take a look at what is happening in the rest of Division II Class A. Most of it's pretty sell, but there are just a few little uh, things that need to be selling. Incidentally, all Division II Class A football games tonight, with the exception of one, are being played tonight instead of on Friday. And then next year they'll flip-flop that. And then We'd be playing on a Friday night next year. That, next would, year. that would be good, but Dom. There, there's some implications to be decided, a couple of, couple of if ands, and buts, and we'll go with those here in just a little bit. But, you know, a great night. Uh, there's some dark, thin clouds with nothing to worry about. God's turf is in perfect condition. This, this, this as you look onto this field through this camera tonight, this is what a football field is supposed to look like, not a bunch of plastic. It is so pretty that it doesn't even look real, to be honest with you. Let's take our first break. We have a lot of commercial commitments, a lot of folks that make it possible for us to be with you every Friday night, and then the upcoming basketball season around the corner as well. Let's do this. Let's take a two-minute break. You're watching tonight, courtesy of Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz, on the TCA Facebook page. And we're back right after this with the countdown to kickoff continuing when we come back. Stan will have more updates on this matchup tonight. We'll have senior nights coming up, senior night festivities, I should say, at 630, and then the official Countdown to kickoff will begin after that as well. This is TCA Football on the TCA Football Network. No matter where you are. 
You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Well Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Well Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Well Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Countdown to kickoff continues. We're about 37 minutes away. Senior night's coming up in about seven minutes. Those festivities. Before we get to that, though, and bring that to you live, Stan Gerard here in the press box with yours truly, Diamond Dave. And, Stan, you've got an update on some of those other key games. A lot of key games in West Tennessee. Let's look at Division II Class A. Folks, you all remember Franklin Grace? That was the team TCA was supposed to play the night the lights went out in Jackson. Well, they're at Columbia Academy tonight. And the winner of Franklin Grace at Columbia Academy is the Division II Middle Region Champion. Nashville Christian is at DCA tonight. Must win for either team to get a number two seed. Plus, need COLA or Columbia Academy to win for either one of those two to achieve that position. Some of you are going to think, why you got Mount Juliet Christian School and Clarksville Academy on the list? Neither teams won a region game over there all year. Well, the winner of that game gets the fifth and final playoff berth into the Division II tournament. This year, the middle region gets five teams. Of course, Jackson Christian at TCA, the winner is the number one seed, and the loser is the number two seed. Harding Academy at Fayette Academy. Fayette Academy is in the tournament with a win and an FACS win. West Carroll at McKenzie, winner is the region champion. That's going to be McKenzie all day long and twice on Sundays in that ball game. Westview at Covington, the winner is number two in region play. Union City at Lake County, the winner is second in region play. Perry County at Brewston, the winner stays out of the region basement. Manassas at Middleton, the winner gets their first win of the season. Liberty at Bolivar, a Bolivar win gets them a 500 record, Diamond Dave, but get this, in this case, a 500 record for Bolivar would not get you into the playoffs. And McNary Central at Scotts Hill, Rocky Scotts Old School can finish the season on a winning note. Maybe a, the Rock's grandmother is listening to us once again like she did back in the day. She was one of our more faithful listeners ever, especially from the opponent side of it. Well, yep. Stan, we have a lot of ground to cover a little later. Let's do this. Let's take another two-minute break. We'll come back. Again, we're coming to you a little earlier tonight with a 15-minute uh, prelude to the actual countdown to kickoff. Senior night, the festivities will begin here in just a few minutes, and we'll come back and have that in its entirety. Then Stan will have a chat with Coach Bowling that he did earlier this week. You'll hear those comments from the head coach in his 32nd year, 246 wins under his belt. And he's matched up against Darby Palmer tonight. Darby's had a great year or a great career out there as well, 49-34 with Jackson Christian. Stan reminded me that Jackson Christian has never gone undefeated in a regular season. They could do that tonight. TCA trying to spoil that, but even more up for grabs is the fact that Stan said the winner will stay at home until they reach the semifinals of the TSSAA playoffs. See Bill Hamilton across the way over there. His grandson plays for Jackson Christian. Normally we would pull for Bill and his grandson, but not tonight. We'll come back. 
as we get you ready for the countdown to kickoff. But senior night's coming up next. Stay with us. This is TCA Football on Worthy Road Studios, the ball game blitz, and TCA Facebook. Stay with us. Now we got your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should, you know what, I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a division of McKinsey Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. The Eagles made the short trip. They flew over from Jackson Christian. The campus just around the corner from us. They come in at 9-0 and 5-0 and in region play. And Stan, until you earlier, our line 7-2 and 4-0. And, and Stan, I keep lamenting. Of course, you can't go back and change anything. I really believe, with no disrespect to USJ, if we played them today, I think we would beat them. We had Riverside by 14 points with eight minutes left and two touchdowns and two. Well, they went for two twice, and they converted both times. We wound up losing by two. Bottom line is, this TCA team could very well be in here at 9-0 and as well. It was a very big possibility. Got a lot of hellos to get to. Sure do. Sky the Body Davis watching from Evansville, Indiana tonight. Frey Garrett's watching this game. You know, Frey Garrett always scores these games at home. He does. Also watching Tristan Vales, Tommy Chapman, Bubba Holsinger checking in uh, tonight. Nick Borgard, the coach at uh, – Basketball coaches down the road, Scott Stutes, Chris Tippett, a former TCA player, Belly Lucking, checking in from Mount Vern or from uh, Milan, Will Rushing check in among others. We're expecting Diamond a statewide viewing audience for tonight's game right here on Worthy Road Studios and the TCA Facebook page. Speaking of Scott Davis, too, we'd be remiss if we didn't wish Dee, his lovely wife, the very best. She had an accident. She was walking earlier this week and fell, and I, I think he yeah, had some broken bones, and uh, certainly our thoughts and prayers with her. I did not know yes. uh, Dee was uh, under the weather. Did not know that. You and Dee and Scott go back a long ways, don't you? Well, Dee a little bit more, but 40, 50 years ago, back in the good old days. You don't look that old. Oh, I know. I'm perpetually young. No doubt about it. Well, about 30 minutes before no, we... Nobody's accusing me of being their dad, at least. No, that's exactly right. <laughs> Don't bring that up again, please. But, uh, hey, I do want to, on a personal note, I do want to send along uh, my thanks to all those. My wife has been really, really ill and uh, not doing well, and uh, we were able to sneak out and come over today with her graces. She wanted me to come do the game. Actually, I worked today as well, but uh, certainly want to send all those folks that have been so nice and so loving uh, social media. My wife's not on social media right now, but... Uh, I put a post up last night, Stan, and been bombarded with uh, comments and, and uh, different messages, uh, not only through social media, but through text messages and emails as well. So I'd be remiss if I didn't go back and uh, thank all those folks that have been so loving to us. Appreciate that. And she had a better day today, and hopefully that will continue. But she's really been uh, been struggling as the last uh, few weeks. Yeah, it's, 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 it's one of those things that happens as we all get older, I guess. But uh, it, it's, it's never an easy thing to go through. And uh, Lord knows she's had her – fair set of issues 
over the years after tripping down, what was that, in Daytona Beach, I Daytona guess? Daytona Beach, fell down and some been concrete steps. It's a struggle ever yeah, since then. No doubt about it. Uh, Nancy Lack is, uh, and I appreciate you saying that, Nancy Lack is watching. Suzanne Argo Atwood, the Atwood kids have really showed out. They're watching way down in Florida. Uh, Stella Vaughn is watching tonight. And uh, she said she hadn't been able to get to the games, but uh, we appreciate her kind comments. And Jensen Vincent, one of my favorite people, she's watching tonight as well. Oh, a lot of people, and it's going to get bigger as the night rolls on. Diamond Dave. Senior night. Yep. Sam, you went through senior night, didn't you? Actually, they did not announce That's right. Senior. You told me yeah, that. Yeah, we got kind of Why didn't they not do that? Uh, you have to ask some idiot in the administration back in those days. Oh, uh, North just, High School, during our last game where we were on the road, trying to at least announce our names that we were seniors, so I'll give them credit for that. But somebody writes years ago, dropped the ball. And Diamond, I think we are just about ready for we senior are. ceremony. Absolutely. So let's uh, turn things over to the public address announcer and take it away, Clint Reed. A little technical oh, problem there. We'll get that straight out here in a minute. By the way, Chris Tibbetts tuned in tonight. Diane Delk, Cooper Delk, they're all watching. Says uh, Stella, says Jen is my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-love. All right, Stan, we're ready, I think. Well, let's, let's try this once again. No, we can't do that yet. Now we can go. This last home game of the regular season for TCA. It is senior night. And before you are TCA football and cheerleader seniors. And just to recognize them, we're going to start with number 55, Daniel Cashin. Daniel is the son of Jay and Lisa Cashin and has attended Trinity since kindergarten. His favorite Bible verse is Isaiah 48. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. Daniel's favorite memory is from his junior season when Will Keltner got a pick six against King's Academy to move TCA to the next round of the playoffs. This is from Daniel's family. Daniel, it's hard to believe that you are nearing the end of your journey at TCA. What seems like only a brief moment in time, the little boy we had to go to our knees and hug goodbye on his first day of Miss Harden's kindergarten class is now a young man we look eye to eye with. A few simple words can't begin to express how proud we are of you and your accomplishments in the classroom and on the field. Always know we are here to support you in your failures and victories and we eagerly, eagerly anticipate seeing how God will continue to grow and shape you. We love you, Mr. Daniel Cashin. Next, we have Mary Grace Harris. Mary Grace is the daughter of Rick Harris and Kristen and Jason Thomas. She has attended Trinity for four years. Her favorite Bible verse is 1 Timothy 4.12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Mary Gray says her favorite cheer memory is stunning with her best friend at UCA Camp 2023. Her mother has this to say, Mary Grace, you have such a sweet and gentle heart. Your love for God and others shines in all you do. We are so proud of the young woman you have become. Mary Grace's dad says he prays for wisdom from above and reminds you of James 317. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. He loves you with his whole heart, always and forever. Miss Mary Grace Harris. Next, we have Miss Emily Heising. Emily is the daughter of Dave and Leanne Heising and has been a TCA student for 14 years. Her favorite Bible verse is John 15, 12 through 13. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, 
to lay down one's life for one's friend. Emily's favorite cheer memories come from spending the night at the Perkins house and all the fun memories like practicing upstairs and the drives to and from their house. Emily, your parents want you to know what a joy it has been to watch you cheer on the lines these past eight years. As you navigate your next steps, we pray you will seek the Lord's guidance and follow his steps. We look forward to watching you learn and grow in your college years and fulfill your calling. We love you, Mom and Dad. Miss Emily Heising. Next we have number zero, Nick Jones. Nick is the son of Pierce and Sherry Jones and has attended Trinity for four years. His favorite Bible verse is Isaiah 60, 22. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Nick's favorite football memory is making a game-saving tackle against Tipton Rosemark his sophomore year. Nick's parents have this to say, words cannot express how blessed we felt when God allowed us to have one more child. You have completed our family and brought us such joy. We are so proud of the young man you have become. And we look forward to seeing the direction God leads you to in the coming years. We are sure the adventure will only continue. Mr. Nick Jones. Next we have number 13, Caleb Kaim. Caleb is the son of Randall and Dawn Patterson and Todd Kaim. He has been a TCA student for 14 years and his favorite Bible verse is Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Caleb's favorite football memory is coming back from camp and watching Harrison Vance lay a Gibson County kid out during the scrimmage. <laughs> Caleb, your parents want you to know they are so proud of you and love you. You have always put your heart into every game. Even though you got injured and couldn't finish the season, you still remain a great team player by supporting and cheering on your teammates. Mr. Caleb Kime. Next we have Miss Ivy Martin. Ivy is the daughter of Scott and Beth Martin and has attended Trinity for 10 years. Her favorite Bible verse is John 10:10. 10, 10. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. Ivy says her favorite cheer memory comes from UCA Camp 2023. She enjoyed learning new cheers, dances, chants, and most of all, stunts. Her group was able to do some stunts that had never been done before. It was an enjoyable time with the cheer team and UCA staff. Ivy's family has this to say. Ivy, we thank God for giving us a daughter like you. We are so proud of you and all your accomplishments. Never underestimate your power to change the world. You are such an extraordinary girl and will do great things. Of this, there is no doubt in our minds. So follow your heart and chase your dreams and always remember to enjoy the little things. You are the glue that holds us all together and we love you big. Thank you for always making us laugh and letting us drive the Jeep. Miss Ivy Martin. Next we have number 63, Nicholas Reddick. Nicholas is the son of Niles and Michelle Reddick and has attended TCA for 10 years. His favorite Bible verse is Psalms 18:19. He brought me out into spacious place and he rescued me because he delighted in me. Nicholas says his favorite memories come from winning football games and being with his teammates. Nicholas, your parents have this to say. We are so proud of you and all you have accomplished at TCA. We are amazed at your commitment to complete and finish what you start. Your work ethic is as remarkable as your ability to balance commitments while still finding time to sleep and have fun. Third grade to senior year at TCA have flown by and you have grown into an exceptional young man with one of the kindest hearts. We are blessed to be your parents and love you so much. Love you, mom, dad, and Audrey. Mr. Nicholas Reddick. Next we have number 66, Harrison Vance. Harrison is the son of Travis and Allison Vance. He has been a TCA student for nine years. His favorite Bible verse is Philippians 4, 6. 
Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Harrison says his favorite football memory is coming back from a long week of team camp and playing in the scrimmage that Friday. It showed how much our team had bonded, even though we were all exhausted. Harrison's parents have this to say. Harrison, we are so proud of you. Watching you overcome injuries and continue to play and excel has been one of our greatest joys. You're a strong and amazing young man in everything you do, and we love you, Mom and Dad. Mr. Harrison Vance. Next, we have number 56, Halen Wilkerson. Halen is a son of Will and Tori Wilkerson and has been a student at Trinity for 14 years. His favorite Bible verse is Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Halen says his favorite football memory is earning a starting job at guard on homecoming week his sophomore year. Halen, your parents want you to know we stand beside you tonight with pride as we honor you as a senior, teammate, and man we respect. Your heart, perseverance, and character on and off the field is inspiring. You have always been one to take your commitments and responsibilities seriously, and football has been no different. We know that the lessons learned on this field will serve you for a lifetime. May God continue to give you the courage to fly your own line. Mr. Halen Wilkerson. Let's give these seniors one more round of applause. And that's the uh, conclusion Thank of the Thank you very much. That concludes ceremonies. our ceremony. And what we're going to do right now is take a short break, a two-minute break. When we come back, we'll hear the words of the head coach of the TCA Lions, Darren Bowling. You're watching the Countdown to Kickoff pregame show right here on the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Buying a home is a major milestone and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I speak with the head coach of the TC Lions, Darren Bowen. Coach, last week of the regular season, and all the hard work that began in the summer and the spring, it's all come down to tonight's ball game against Jackson Christian. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, what you start off the season for, getting a, getting a chance to, um, you know, play for a district championship. And, and you know, it's one of the goals is that you set early in the season. And, um, you know, when I came in back, back in April, uh, you know, seeing these guys for the first time and 
again, them not knowing who I am and me not knowing who they are. We've come a long way together, and, uh, you know, I'm proud of where we've come. These guys uh, have won my heart, and, uh, you know, they're uh, a great, great bunch, and so I'm very proud of them. Coach, looking at Jackson Christian, you know, we looked to get the results from last year, 49-42. A lot of people would have, could have, should have in that ball game. What is the big bump that TCA's got to get over from, say, from last year to this year to, get us the, to finally get us a win, what I like to call the neighborhood street fight? Yeah, I mean, I can't really tell you much about last year. I did watch it, but, uh, you know, had had some things that – had a lot of things that went right for us, you know, uh, for them last year. Uh, just the final play of the game was kind of a, uh, a tough, tough deal. But, uh, you know, that's behind us. The past is behind us. The uh, future lies ahead, you know. And uh, we're, we're focused on right now, the here and now. And, and so here we are. And so it's, now it's time. So uh, we got to get out there and, and play hard and, and uh, execute is the biggest thing and not have turnovers, not, not uh, you know, penalties are, are a big thing. But the main thing is just get out there and, and, and play hard and, and, and give that extra effort. Looking at Jackson Christian, you know, you know we, all, we all know about Jalen Mosley. Some of the other names have changed, uh, you know, a new quarterback, a new running back, but it doesn't seem like they are, you know, training new kids. It seems like they just find someone else to step into the position and take over. Kelly, their quarterback's done a, done a fine job for him, averaging over 250 yards, just over 250 yards a game throwing the football. He's going to be a load to contend with. Yeah, I mean, they've got good skill guys all over the field, uh, you know, good talent and, and good schools, good teams uh, continue to, you know, develop that talent as they come in as, as eighth graders or freshmen. And by the time they're seniors, they, they just kind of feel the role of the guy that was in front of them. And, and there's not a lot of letdown, not a lot of uh, change in that in that deal. So uh, they've got some really good uh, football players and uh, physical up front. So, um, you know, I'm not as worried about their guys as I am my guys, you know, and, and my guys, uh, you know, I like them. I like the way our guys are playing right now. And so, uh, you know, we just need to go out there and, and take care of business like we do every week. Of course, you've been more of these games than we care to count over the years. And this is, you know, for most of our for most of our boys, this is a brand new experience for them playing what essentially is a championship game. What's the mentality been like during practice this week, even though it's been a short week? What's the mentality been like amongst the young men uh, this week? Uh, you know, it's been a good week. It's been short, you know, like you said, but it's been a good week. Uh, I talked to them, uh, you know, about this being what, what an opportunity, you know, what a great opportunity. I have been in this business a long time and, and going into a game where everybody in the state thinks the other team's better than you, but you got a chance to knock off the number one team in the state uh, for a, a district championship and for senior night. And on a Thursday, there's going to be thousands of people. I mean, what, what more can you ask for as a 17, 18-year-old guy, you know? And so, uh, you know, we just want to go out and play the game uh, with no no pressure. I mean, the pressure's not on us. The pressure's on them. I mean, it's, it's not about them knocking us off. It's about us knocking them off. Coach, you know, we mentioned this game obviously being played on a Thursday night. And I didn't even realize until a couple days ago, with the exception of, I think, one other game in Division II Class A, all Class A is playing their games on Thursday this week. Yeah, I think that was something that was done, you know, pre-season uh, during the – before I got here during the scheduling process with the officiating crews and stuff like that. Uh, I think mostly probably because during the season – People will have open games. You know, several schools have an open game on Friday night. The next week, somebody, several schools will have an open game. But usually on the last game of the season, everybody wants to be playing. Nobody wants their open date to be on uh, week 11 going into the playoff season and stuff like that. So I think they were foreseeing it being a problem with officiating if every team uh, around the state was playing football. And, of course, Coach, you look at this game, you know, we, we can talk about it. We, we can spend all day talking about some of the other key games. You know, uh, uh, Franklin Grace and Columbia Academy playing for the middle 
middle region championship winner gets winner gets that title something we may not have expected earlier in the year but uh despite that somehow something tells me all eyes are going to be on jackson tennessee tonight yeah i think this is a great night for football and again just uh what a, what a great atmosphere you know i mean to be in uh, it's a blessing for us, uh, you know, uh, for me as a coach to, to be involved in, in a great school, a great team, these great young men that, that play for me and, and in this situation uh, this soon, you know, first year uh, coach here and, and uh, you know, they've come a long way and, and they've earned the right to be here. I know you just come here this year. A smaller group of, of uh, I almost said eighth graders, but a smaller group of seniors in this short time that you've got to know them, what has this group of seniors meant to uh, you as a head coach? Yeah, this is a great group. And, you know, they've been kind of the, uh, I guess you would say the trailblazers into the new era of TCA football. And, and I don't mean that as any disrespect to the ones in the past. Uh, I just mean that as this group of seniors you know, we talked early when I got the job and and, and early and often and at, at camp a lot and uh, just about, hey, you know, you guys are the ones that are setting the tone for where we're going from here, you know, where this new era is going. And, uh, you know, they've been hard workers. They've uh, uh, good listeners. They 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 want to win. They want to do right. They, they, they practice. Uh, and, and lead at practice now as far as vocal leaders there's not a lot of vocal leaders in this group but that's okay you know because you lead by example anyway you know that's that's where leaders come from more so than just somebody that's just you know bumping their gums you know a lot of people don't don't follow those guys as much as they do the ones who's out there just putting in the work putting in the time and these guys have definitely done that and so i'm very proud to, to say that that uh this was my first group of seniors Keys to victory tonight against uh, our friends down the road, let's say. Uh, score more points than them, number one. But definitely, uh, you know, I mean, that's obvious, of course. But, uh, again, I, I think the turnover battle is going to be a big deal. I think, uh, you know, if you can pick up an extra possession here or there uh, in, that, in that regard, it, it gives you a better chance. And, and special teams are always – they always seem to come out big in big games, you know. It, it just seems like some people forget about special teams throughout the year because there's always a punt team or always, you know, kick return or whatever the case may be. But in big games, those things really play in big. And so uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have a good night there as well. Coach, let's get out there and take him down. Sounds good. Thank you. That's the head coach of the TCA Lions, Darren Bowling. You are watching the Countdown to Kickoff pregame show right here on Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz. We're back after this. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. 
no matter where you are. You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Well, with a great rendition of the National Anthem, the lovely Anna Willard did a great job with that. Welcome back, everybody. Senior night. The festivities are over. The pregame is winding down as we get you ready for what we think is going to be a heck of a ball game. 28th meeting in the series. Jackson Christian leads the series 18-9. to Longest winning streak is 12 by them. Longest streak, according to Stan Gerard with his game notes, TCA with four. Stan, as we said earlier, this is what coaches coach for, players play for, and we broadcast this. This is what we broadcast for a night like tonight. A lot of uh, different keys at, to tonight's game. Let's take a look at some of those. First thing, I think you've got to have zero turnovers in this game. Too many turnovers the last time we played Jackson Christian. Defense is going to have to hold JCS on downs at least three times during the course of this game. Force them to punt the football. We need to force a couple of turnovers during the ball games. I'd love to see get at least one special teams or defensive score in this game. Control Mosley's rushing output to under four yards. Remember, he hasn't rushed for much this year, but he ran for 110 yards against TCA last year in addition to his uh, receiving totals. Uh, allow less than 130 yards rushing and under 200 yards passing. Offensively, control time of possession using that jumbo package just Ground and ground and pound, more use more utilization of uh, Cooper Vale's legs. Love to see him have at least 70 yards in this game. Score points every time you're inside the 40 yard line, and simply you got to be more physical on offense and defense. And those are the keys that are going to win you this ball game tonight, Double D. Thank you very much, Dan. Great job as always. The Eagles are in the house. The Lions about to make their way in. Jackson Christian wearing the very familiar white and blue with the silver helmets. And our lines down to our right. Here comes the TCA flags as they bring out and escort the troops onto the field. The lovely cheerleaders led by one of the seniors, Ms. Heising. And I know the Arnolds are watching tonight. Her grandparents right around the corner from me there in steeplechase. And the lines coming in with the all black, everything black, jerseys, pants, helmets. And Stan, we get you ready, the captains for both teams were a lot of seniors. Austin Kelly, one of the seniors for Jackson Christian, also out there with Cedric Anderson, and a tight end that looks like a college player, Daniel Green, 6'6", 240. I watched him during warm-ups. He's an impressive body, no doubt about it. Nick Jones, Slick Nick, as Stan likes to call him. Caleb Kime, who's not playing because of injuries, but was out there and saluted during the senior festivities. Also, Daniel Cashin, our very own Daniel Cashin, Jay's son. Meanwhile, Halen Wilkerson, Nicholas Riddick, and Harrison Vance, the other seniors out there for the Lions. The Lions will kick it off and stand. We're down to nitty-gritty time. 
that meat and potatoes I talked yeah. about you earlier. Lydia Smith is watching in D.C. Yep. The winner of this ball game, simply put, is the region champion and has home field advantage throughout the semifinals of the state tournament. The winner will get a home game next week. Then they've got to be Road Warriors. Jackson Christian, number one in the state, undefeated 9-0 TCA, 7-2, and ranked number four in the state. And Diamond Dave McClay, we're about to tee it up. And as the great group ACDC once said, for those about to rock, we salute you. No doubt about it. And to kick it away will be the Lions, Mr. Delk, as the anticipation grows more and more as we wind it down. As the excitement grows, the anticipation grows. Stan, we're underway. Yep, just about ready, and you can feel the excitement in the air. Here's Delk's kick, and it's going to be into the end zone, a touchback. That's a good Ooh. way to start it. They had Easton Jones back there with others, but Easton said, let that thing go in, and it's going to be now. Jackson Christian, their outstanding quarterback, Austin Kelly, who fought back from a very serious eye injury. Comes in tonight, 118 of 165, 34 touchdowns, four interceptions. Stan total yards running and passing. How about 2,275? My Miss Peggy says hello, and uh, says hello to your Miss Peggy, by the way. Thank you very much, appreciate that. Gina Keltner, Charles and Rose Haynes, Kathy Hughes watching, Chip Thomas. As the audience grows, so does the excitement. And Mr. Empty backfield. Kelly back there with empty backfield. Just Puts the man, coming. there's Mosley in motion. They give it to Mosley. Mosley, the outstanding running back, turns right corner. He's free. He's at the 40, and he'll be tackled there finally. And Mosley coming in this game, Stan, 71 receptions, 23 touchdowns. He can run the ball as well, averaging 161.7 in total offense, and he initially gets the first down here, the initial first down. Diamond Day. The 39. He had 36 total yards during the course of the season. He got 21 right there. I've warned us all week long on this, and that's what they're coming out and doing. Now they're going to throw to him. Now they have Kelly back there. He hands off to the running back, and maybe three yards to about maybe four to the 43. That should be Lawrence. Yep. That is Lawrence. Lawrence coming in. They've got some weapons. That's Deuce Lawrence. Great football name, no doubt about it. Well, it's a pickup of almost five. Let's give him four, second and sixth then. Defensively, the Lions trying to dig in here. We'll spot all those kids for you in a minute. On that front line, they've all had good years, no doubt about it, offensively and defensively. Now watch it, third different formation they've run. Yep, three different sets. Now they put Mosley in motion, bring him right at your TV there, at your computer anyway. Here's the play fake, they go to Mosley, and the Lions have him corralled oh, and read. stop him. The back of the 40 yard line, a loss of four yards. Woo. First guy there, Stan, was Gabe Lee. Look at this. The, you know, the little. Or Caleb Williams, excuse me. Lee was there later. Yep. I mean, just boom. One, two, three, four, five hits on Mosley. That's what you're going to do. Get physical against Jalen Mosley. Loss of three is fourth and, or third and nine. Hashmart left. Doubles far side of the field there at the high side. They get the play call from Darby Palmer and his assistants over there. We'll mention all the coaches on both sides. Third and nine. Big first third down play of the game. They put a man in motion. That's Deuce going that way. Now Wilson wants to throw, flies it down there, and it's going to be caught. Uh, and that's going to be Mosley with a touchdown. We see our defender fell down. Got behind yards. Atwood. 60, make it uh, 59 yards then. It was at the 41, was it? No, it was at the 40. At the 40, 60 yard strike. And Mosley, you could sort of see it in midair, Stan. He was open, wasn't he? Uh, he, he was open, but the defender fell down in coverage is what gave them that play. And that's what you wanted. To, one of the things you did not want to do is give them the huge, big play like that. He's going to get his yards, Diamond Dave, but you got to not give up plays like that. No, that was a big one, no doubt about it. And into attempt to PAT will be Zach Cisco, the senior. And Wilson will be the holder, or make it Kelly, excuse me. Kelly just threw the 60-yard bomb to Mosley. That's Mosley's 35th touchdown of the year. Snap back, ball down, kick up, it's good. 7-0 Jackson Christian will take a 30. The Lions on offense when we come back after this on Worthy Road Studios and the ball game blitz just a 30. Stay with us. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. 
West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Well, Diamond Dave Jackson Christian strikes first, the 80-yard drive, capped off by the 60-yard touchdown pass to Mosley, and the Eagles out to the early league again, you know, he has, he has the speed, he has the great hands. Our defender did, though, fall down in coverage. 80-yard drive capped off with a 60-yard touchdown pass, and Stan TCA had him right where they wanted him. Yep. Third and long. Here's a short kick. Will be fielded by TCA at about the 35-yard line. And over there to get it will be Cooper Vales. So TCA is going to start, what, you know, just inside the 35 with the 34. So 66-yard drive coming up. And... Look at the middle of your screen and that big boy coming on. That's the young man that Daniel Cash has got to try and block, try and block all night long. Big uh, Cedric Anderson, 6'3", 375. A huge mountain of a player. No doubt about it. Well, Bales will be in the uh, – he'll be Tompkins behind him in the pistol is what I'm trying to say. They put Delk in motion. They give it to LT. Lakai has good room. He'll move up to about the – 40-yard line. He's going to pick up six, second down and four. And, Stan, that's a good positive start for the Lions. Look at Daniel Cash's block on the big man here. Look at the center. He makes it. Sure did. Gets it from and moves him out of the way. That's a great block by Daniel Cashin. He was a non-factor, wasn't he? Yep. 40-yard line, second down and four. Vales has Tompkins in the pistol again. Doubles top of your screen. Doubles here to the near side. Tompkins has it again this time, but this time they corral him. He's going to get a yard, though. So. A yard to the 41. He's tackled there. With a good, strong tackle by, couldn't tell who got that. Hampton did. Hampton did. All right. Well, it's got to be third That's down, three. Third down and three. Now, wasn't his dad the former coach of JCM? Cedric five? Hampton, yeah. yes. Third down and three. Cedric was a good player in his day as well. Leanne Heising is watching tonight. Congratulations, you're a lovely senior. Ash Robertson says, let's go number 54. Here's Bales running this way. Wants to throw, does throw, and it's going to be caught and then knocked out of bounds immediately. And that ball is caught, ladies and gentlemen, by one, Joshua Delk. Nice throw, Bales. Good catch by Delk, staying in bounds, Stan. Let's see, five by six yard to pick up on that play by Delk. And 47 yard line, yeah. More importantly, that's a foundation bank first down. Doubles, top of your screen again. They put Waller in motion, but they go to Lakai again. Tompkins punishes the linebackers as he moves across midfield and will plow his way to the 46-yard line of Jackson Christian. Pickup of seven on the play by Thompson. Good three blocking, Stan. Yeah. Look at those blocks. Three carries, 14 yards. Second yep. down and we, three. We, when you're pushing back that far, your offensive line is winning the line of scrimmage. Jackson Christian leads the game early, 7-0. Well, Lions on the prowl. Vails. Has Tompkins again in the pistol. Waller here to the near side with Delk. Notice how they're jamming us on the bottom of the screen here, our receivers. Atwood and Jones, the receivers to the top of your screen. Again, Tompkins right in there behind Vales. Give it to Lakai. No, Vales runs the option and then flips it to Jones, and he's caught and nailed for a loss of two yards. Yeah, let's take a look. They had that one pretty Great well. Great play by Easton Jones, Stan. They pretty well had that one uh, figured out. They came across, and, and we ran right into it. And a little bit of a loss of two on the play, Diamond. Well, they mark it off. They're going to mark a penalty. It's going to be a penalty on Jackson Christian. I didn't see what they call, Stan. Well, we will take uh, a well, foundation bank personal first foul. Hey, oh now you see it, personal foul. Well, that would have put TCA in a third and about five or six. Instead, they'll have it first and ten at the 34 of Jackson Christian. So those of you like Frey Garrett scoring this game at home, wipe off that negative uh, run by Slick Nick and uh, second first down tonight. Billy Malden's watching. He was down to see the Grizzlies last night. Hand off Lakai. Lakai hits the hole and is driven back, but after not before he gets about four yards. Lakai is just doing workman like. A Zan working got, like job. Excuse me, Zan, he almost got five. Let's give him four, second and six. Well, you love the way TCA's responded here. Stand down 7 nothing, giving up the big play. 60-yard touchdown pass from Wilson to Mosley, but TCA is not to be deterred. They're right back in it. This is what I like, though. We're taking our time and chewing clock off and keeping Mosley on his heels. No doubt about it. Bales rolls this way. Wants to throw. Looking, looking, run, looking. Run. Down with throw. 
and it's caught by Waller. Waller, the deadly weapon, to the 20 and knocked out of bounds near the 20-yard line. They'll knock him out at about the 22. So that's going to be a pickup of 10. Watch his hands by Waller. Stan. Yeah, they're going to give him four on the play. That's a high pass. Yeah, it's going to be short. I thought he had the first down. Didn't get a great spot, but Ste I couldn't tell out, here. He stepped out of bounds. Did. All right, third down in a yard. The ball inside the 25 to about the 24. Got to get a yard. Third down. It's two down oh, territory. C gap. C gap left. Delk in motion. They give it to Tompkins. No. Yeah, Tompkins does have it. Tompkins fooled me. Bales did anyway. And he is inside the 20 as he scoots his way to the 16. First and 10. A foundation bank first down for the Lions. Six yards on the play for Thompson or Tompkins. 22 yards officially on the night. Injured, uh, injured uh, Jackson. Got an eagle first. down. Let's say a little prayer for him. He's yeah. down. Well, Stan, it's everything we thought it would be at first. Mosley and Wilson teaming up, but yeah. the line's coming right back with Lakai and Bales and company. And, and, Don, if you looked in that last play, we went up the middle. Oh, my gosh, the C gap was wide open. A couple of, couple of down blocks, and Mosley, or excuse me, Lakai would still be running. He'd be out of the parking lot and halfway to the fire station by now. Well, the Eagles is down. Let's hope he's all right. Kevin Hansen's out there assisting the trainer of Jackson Christian. Let's remind you tonight's game being brought to you in part by the Blacksmith Restaurant, Carlock Nissan, Foundation Bank, our first down sponsor, Diamond Aloha Dick. Pools, Jones Chevrolet, Coca-Cola, Deaton's Carpet, Elite Dental, Humboldt Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Bank of Jackson, Food Right, Waterwell Solutions, Tennessee Tractor, West Tennessee Bank, and McCoy's Heating and Air. That's 44, that's, Stan. Yeah. And that's, that's a knee injury. That's uh, Kyle White. Let's hope he's all right, the junior. He is walking off under his own power. Yeah, that's good news. That's that's the good part. But uh, it's going to be missing one of their uh, one of their better defenders. And now, what you do now, if you're if you're a TC line, where where was that young man playing? Find out where and attack that position right there, Dave. Yep. Well, Coach Bowling's been around the corner a few times. Thirty-two years, two hundred forty-six wins. Lynn Stanton is watching from Greenwood, Mississippi. Stan, we got him in Florida, Mississippi, New York, D.C. You name it. All around this wide world. Or big First country. and 10, the ball resting at the 17 yard line. Here is Lakai. Lakai is hit hard, but he's going to get positive yards <laughs> despite the fact, Stan, he gets about four he's, yards he's down the 12 yard line. To, five yards. Five yards. Yeah. Diamond, he's, you look at that run there, look at that on the replay. It didn't look like he did much. Uh -uh. I mean, the guy squared up, and you're going to lose that the defender trying to tackle Lakai Tompkins chest high. You're going to lose that battle every single time. Stella Vaughn tuned in along with Dylan Yates. Doubles each side of the field. Tompkins in the pistol behind Bale. Second and five from the 12. Give it to Lakai again. Why not? He's able to duck his head, and he's very close to another first down. I think it's going to be about a yard short, maybe yeah. two yards short, Stan. Uh, maybe a yard. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's closer than that. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's less than a yard. half yard. Yeah, it sure is. Clock running, 526 first. 80-yard drive to open up the game by Jackson Christian, capped off by the 60-yard touchdown strike, Kelly to Mosley. The Lions have taken the ball to move right down the field, though, from their 34, and they have it at the 7. Tom oh, that blocking. first down and more. Inside the 5 to the 4, he plows. It's going to be first and goal, TCA. I mean, what, what's he going to get off of this one? Uh, from the 6 down to about the 4, so a 3. Oh, that's more than that. That's about a 5-yard run, but the – Great hole by the left side of your line, opening, opening up that uh, play, uh, Vance and company. The Stars are coming out on this October night. Tompkins again. They have him corral this time and drop him for a loss back about the eight or nine-yard line. Well, Mosley the star on their side earlier. Tompkins has been the star this time, but then that time defender stepped in and they crush him back for a loss. Second and goal stand. The ball is going to be where? They'll move it. The ball was at the four. The ball's back at about the seven, well, it's almost to the nine-yard line. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's more like about the eight, so it's a yep. loss. Of about, Second and goal. Loss of about three on that play, Dave. Well, Bales may have to go up top here. Waller's here to the near side. Bales looks to the left, though. He's going to toss it down there, and it's going to be it's incomplete. Contact. And no flag. Right in front of the official and no call? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was that pass interference. We'll sit the replay and let you decide. How can you not call that? Yeah, he was playing the man and not the ball that time. He looked, did look around, but TCA did not get a break there that time. Coach open, Bowling not happy about it. Open your eyes. Third and goal. 
The scoreboard has it at the seven. It's more near the nine, I think, or eight, excuse me. Well, third and goal, big play, obviously. Bales runs the option. They give it to the short side of the field. Tompkins, he breaks the tackle, but he can't get this by the second wave, and he stopped, and it's going to bring a decision up for Coach Bowling. Pick up a two on the play. So the ball's going to be at the five. It's going to be fourth and goal, and we'll send Willard out, out I think, to attempt the PAT. Yeah, and this is going to be a uh, kick. Basically an extra point, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's hash mark left, which makes it a little tough. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's Still Atwood. not happy about that lack of a call there. Atwood Dave. will set it down at about the 12. It's going to be a 22-yard field goal attempt. 409, clock arrested. And the snap forthcoming. Kobe Moore, the long snapper. Yep, Kobe does a great job with that. He'll snap it back to Atwood. He'll put it on the turf. And it is blocked. Well, special teams big last year, Stan. And it is a big play there. I'm not sure who got the block. We'll see the replay. It was uh, a low kick it, to start with. Yeah, the guy came, guy came in in between the block. Is that what it was? The, the, uh, the, uh, the guy on the end, that guy came through. You got to crash down hard on that when he gets in there and drive him into the line. Uh, but that, look at this one more time. Look at the end guy here. Gets through there. You got to crash that down. Yep. Let, I mean, you cannot play that. You cannot play Olay on that. Marcus Rhodes, one of my Facebook buddies, is watching tonight down in Collierville. And the block, and it's going to be the ball. Where they have the ball, Stan? It's at the seven-yard line. Yep. Yeah. And Wilson back in business here. He's got his running backs to his left and right this time. We've seen almost every formation they can throw at you. Running back, not much. As TCA stops the run this time. Is that Deuce again? Uh, we'll see here. Deuce Lawrence. No, it's not Deuce Lawrence. Yeah, I think that was, um, well, I couldn't tell. Well, Maybe a penalty Jones. on Jackson Christie. Nick Jones made the uh, stop. They move yeah, it back it was, to the two. Uh, it was uh, their running back, Jones. Oh, uh, Jones, their running back, excuse me. Well, stand a penalty, second on T on uh, Jackson Christie. Well. The flags have hurt them. It's, it's going to be first down still, but now it's going to be first and 15 for about the two-yard line. Uh, you can only go half the distance on it, so. Well, they would be about the three then. Yep, ball's on the three. So first and 13 is actually what it is. Or you can call it first and 12 if you're keeping score like Freddie at home. Head off this time. That's Deuce this time, and he doesn't get anything. Lions game tackling right at the line of scrimmage. He may have fell forward for a yard at that. Now we'll take a look at the replay here. It's Deuce Lawrence carrying it. A host of Hammer and there. Hank Miller, yeah, among Hammer, others. Hammer went under it, didn't he? Yeah. Well, that's stand a loss of about a yard back to about the two or three. So it's going to be third down now at about 13. You got Vince, running 325. You got Vincent in at the uh, right defensive end there inside of Colby Moore. Vincent known to be a hard charger from his defensive end position. He's had a great year, too, in my mind. Four down lineman for your Lions. High snap. Wilson in his own end zone will throw out of that. And he's going to go downfield to Mosley. Mosley dropped it. Had it on his fingertips. Wasn't bad defense. Wasn't bad defense. We had a guy there that bothered Atwood. him just enough. Atwood back here did a great job. Mosley couldn't hang on. So now it's third and long. They're inside their own five at about the two or three yard line. And here we go, Stan, another chance. They went up top again to Mosley. Why not? Yeah. He's been sensational well, all year. It, it, if I'm the coach of the Jackson Christian Eagles, I'm going to get him as many touches as I can. Absolutely. Came in tonight, as we tell you, 2,275 yards. That 60-yard pass put him over 2,300 total yards in offense this year. Doubles each way. Mosley's here to the near side this time. Williams has the task of guarding him over here. Wilson drops. Wilson they're throws. They want to go to the tight end. Now they're going to go to Mosley again. And that ball is almost could have been intercepted by Williams if it had not been thrown as hard. And that time, Williams stayed right with Mosley and said, not on my corner, buddy. And it's going to be fourth and punting situation for the Eagles back in their own end zone. Oh, lay out for that son. Waller, the very dangerous returner, all-purpose athlete, great receiver, can run it as well. Oh. He'll stand at the TCA, or excuse me, the Jackson Christian 35-yard line. So it looks like TCA has dodged the bullet of the missed field goal. Timeout, TCA. Something happened. They didn't have the right personnel on the field. Sam, we'll take one with them. A 30. It's 7-0. 
Josh and Christian, but they're punting out of their own end zone when we come back after this on the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should, you know what, I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. Charles and Rose Haynes watching, Tristan Vales, Stella Vincent Vaughn, among others. Well, Stan, the Lions could come out of this with great field position. The thing you got to do here is not commit a penalty of any nature that would yeah. give them anything cheap. And Lord, you don't want to rep the punter on this. Absolutely, that's what I was thinking. I, I don't think this is I don't think this is a play where you try garbage. Yeah, play. I, I think you just let them punt it out of there and then take your chances. TCA has no one back to receive the punt. So they're I'm playing smart. I, I think that's a smart move. Wilson back here, a little pooch punt. All in all, a nice. Well, no, it's not as good as I thought. That ball didn't even make the 30. It's out of bounds at about the 25, 27-yard line. Lions will have it first and 10 at the Jackson Christian 27-yard line. Diamond, that looked like one of your eight irons. Yeah, more like one of my six irons. <laughs> you can hit a six iron 25 yards? Uh, oh, my. Listen, I, I could play a whole round with a putter, a three wood, and a six iron. I could, Philip, I promise. <laughs> So they're going to put the ball about the 27. 27. Yep. Maybe the 28. So TC. Well, the scoreboard has it at the 26. We're inside the 40. This is a must score situation Absolutely. for TC. Absolutely must score. Tristan Bales and Lisa Northcutt, our lovely buddies, are watching. Give it to Lakai. Tompkins just waits a second and then tries to crash forward and pick up of two. Stan, you got to. That's, that's a little bit too delayed. The big guy on the tackle that time got a hand wrapped him. And when Cedric Anderson gets a paw on you, you're probably not going to get too far, even if you're LT. Uh, I would tend to agree with that. A pick up a yard, maybe almost two. Let's give him second and a long eight. Vails. Ooh, that was, a that was a low snap, but we got away with it. And Tompkins crashes forward again. Pick up about and three, he gets about three to the 23. It's going to bring up, though, third down, standing a good six yards. Well, so far they've covered uh, 12 carries, 40 yards for LT. But third uh, and almost six. Let's call it third and a long five, short six. Now, look, they're, they're double they're double teaming Waller with a Mosley. They got Mosley covering Waller, man on. And you got a little bit, if, it, if he can give him a slant, could be open. Slant pattern, he runs that well. And there, there it is. There's that slant pattern to Waller. Waller dropped it. Couldn't oh, come up with it. let's see that again. Great effort. Waller's a high pass, and Waller just couldn't come down within Mosley defending. Yep, that was the one. That was the one. You open. call it. That's what I'd we're like to see that thrown a little more underneath. Uh, yep. They, they kind of about the same time, so that's a good no call. No doubt about it. Well, that I brings up fourth and about six. The first. ball again at the 23-yard line. Well, Waller will go far side left this time. Atwood and Jones here to the near side. Actually, triples here to the near side. Delk's over here as well. So, Waller's over there by himself. Mosley follows him over there. Here's Vales running. Run, the option run, here run, now here is going to have to throw it, and he's going to run out of real estate and be very short. Line of scrimmage, and that's pretty well it. And run out of bounds there by Wilson. That's Gavin Wilson. Well, Lions had a field goal block, and they had it at the 26-yard line of Jackson Christian and cannot get the first down. Back that up if we can one more time. I want to show you where that play was made at, if we can. that The one kid from Jackson Christian hustled all the way over and was able to make that play. Otherwise, we had bodies in front of defenders. Look, look at the kid made a nice hustle play and, and got into the play where we were going to make some yards if he had cut back to the left a little bit. Jackson yeah, Christian will have the ball thrown 21, so we came up a good five yards short. Our downfield blocking was a little not good that time. They play fake it to Deuce. They give it to a big tight end, and he is going to be corralled after a pickup of about four. The big guy caught it. Good target, Daniel Green, but the Lions are Johnny on the spot. And Stan, they have to game tackle him, but they just do just that. First guy there, though. Yeah, he's going to get about five on that play. That was uh, Nick Jones. Slick Nick. 
Yep, he's a big boy. And uh, you see what Jones did though? He went right at the midsection. That's where you got to. Big guy like that. Mid and lower. Second down and five. The ball at the 26. Mosley here to the near side. Williams has him right here. Some north side fans walking in. Now they flip flop around and get Gabe Lee out here. Mosley's in the slot. They give it though to Deuce. And Nowhere. he'll hit the hole and nothing there at all. Gets the line of scrimmage and bang, he's hit by the Lions. Good defense, Dan. Watch the replay. Two carries, four yards for the deuce. Mandy Graves tuned in. Betty Lucky's tuned in. I tell you, one of the kids that made that play for TCA was number 75, Kendall Boyle, the big roadblock. Well, he's 5'10", 300. Consider how big Boyle is, and he's 75 pounds lighter than their big guy. Well, I, I will tell you this. I had the assignment of blocking a high school All-American when I was a senior, and I thought he was big at 325, and he, out, he outweighs my assignment from back in the day by 50 pounds. All about the feet, too, for Lyman. Yeah. You can be big, but you got to have good feet. Well, Williams is to the right of Wilson. Tight end is in the slot. Mosley here to the near side. Third down and a good five. Wilson with a clock stop. Now 43.7. They'll start it back up. Wilson looks, throws to the tight end, caught it, and hit immediately. But he's got the first down, I think, to the 31 yard line. He knew exactly what he had to get. And the big tight end got it, and oh, yeah, Wilson yeah. hit him. And it's gonna be four. first and 10. Two receptions for nine. <coughs> so hard to defend that play, Stan, because yeah. you know all you gotta do is get about five yards, and he just went about four you or five could, yards you, down and caught it. You can almost see that coming because sure Mosley didn't even uh, make a move to go downfield at all. Green, 6'6", 240. He's the biggest tight end we've seen this year. He's a monster. He goes over and sets down to the right of the line, and then right behind him will be Carrier. Hand off, Deuce Williams will move his way, or Deuce Lawrence, I should say. Uh, let's see. It's about five. Yep, that's Lawrence there. Yeah, it's Lawrence carrying it. Follows his blocks. They've got a good offensive line, and he'll just crunch his way to about the 40. Second and three. They go now this time to uh -oh. Lawrence again. He's open. Midfield, 45-40, 35, one man to beat, and Lee just saved the touchdown. Great play by Gabe Lee, knocked him down at about the 15-yard line. If Lee doesn't get him, he's gone. Big run, Stan. Yeah, big, big run. Gabe Lee took the good angle. 45 yards? Yeah. And that's gonna end your first quarter. Got him at the 15. The end of the first, your score, Jackson Christian leads the game seven, nothing. And big plays, a 60-yard touchdown pass to Mosley and just the 45-yard run by Lawrence, and they're knocking on the door again. They'll have it at about the 15-yard line, first and 10 when we come back after this one-minute message on Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. And we're back, Diamond Dave McCulley. Beginning of the second quarter, it's seven to nothing. Jackson Christian and the Eagles have the Lions on their heels at about the 14 yard line. TCA had a field goal block, 22 yard attempt. Then they had it first and 10, the Jackson Christian 27 after defense did their job, but could not get a first down. Doubles far side left, high top of your screen there. They put a man in motion. They go with a jet sweep and running that ball inside the 10 and scooting his way. That's going to be Easton Jones. And now Stan, he's very close to a first down. Let's wait and see. Second down, probably in about two and a half eight. yards, yep. three yards. Picked up seven. We didn't defend that very well, Stan. Nope, that's twice they've run that play. Once with Jones and once with the. Uh, well, they've shown a lot of different formations yeah. to TCA, haven't Second they? Second time they've run that, and we have not defended it on either time. 
Second and about two and a half yards. Jones got eight with it. Mosley got 21. Wilson in the shotgun. We'll give it oh, to nice play. Oh, nice Great play. They knocked Deuce Lawrence down this time. And about maybe a yard. If that, No, he lost a yard. It's going to be third down and a true three now. Drake Craddock. Crash junior. Craddock got him. I didn't mean to. That's okay. I dropped something there on I've him. been hit by worse. That's your cane. Yeah. yeah. See if I can reach that. There we go. Fun in the old press box, folks. Oh, yeah. Third down in about three. They got to get to the four. It's at the seven. So another big play here. Got they, feeling they're going wide. They put a back. Now they move them around. The big tight end will move to the left. Every time he moves there, he's followed by Carrier, the, line, the runner back. Here's the pass in the corner. Incomplete. Is it picked off? No, incomplete. No flag. Great play there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've got a... The receiver's down in the end zone. We were blocked there and could not tell. Let's see here in the corner here. Nope, incomplete. Is that Mosley? That's Mosley. We have two people back there. Craddock's one of the back there to defend. So it brings up fourth and three from the seven. They're going to bring their field goal kicker out. And again, this would be basically a PAT attempt by Zach Sisko. I mean, we don't want anybody to get injured, but Diamond, this one would be a game changer. No doubt about it. And we know, I know, room, he's had some issues with a hamstring earlier in the year. Zach is the grandson of David Sisko, former city councilman, big Yankee fan, fellow Yankee fan, by the way. Hit two field goals against us last year. Well, Stan, we blocked here by the corner here, and we hope that, say a little prayer for our lion there, this down. Could you tell who it was? No, it's, this is a, this is a. This is an eagle. Oh, it's down. an eagle. Second yes. eagle to be That's down. Mosley. Oh, my goodness. I think it's Mosley. If it's Mosley, there's a collective breath across the way being held. Well, Stan, we remind we'll see you. see here in a second. He's up. Well, let's hope he's all right. Yeah, that's Mosley, looks like. Walking pretty gingerly. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a big limp. And that is Mosley. That is Mosley. Wow. I hope he's all right. Well, see, that's going to take him off the defensive side of the ball, If too. he's unable to, to go, Stan, boy, that would be a big blow for the Eagles. I mean, I can't tell unless he were a jog off, but he's walking. Really I mean, gingerly. He really is a, walking a gingerly. Big limp. And we're looking at a 10, 15, 24-yard field goal attempt. 24-yard attempt. Cisco with Wilson, the holder. Or Kelly. I keep calling him Wilson. Why did I do that? Kelly is the Austin Kelly, I knew an Austin Wilson at one time, played at Lambeth. Don't you have a helper named Austin? I do. 24-yard attempt. Again, Kelly the holder. Snap back, ball down, it has the distance, and it's good. 10 to nothing. Jackson Christian's on the board again at the 10-26 mark. They lead the Lions by 10. Lions have looked good on offense, just haven't been able to punch it through a couple times back up to this 30 on Worthy Road Studios in the ball game blitz. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a division of McKenzie Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Day, 10 to nothing with a 10.26 to go in our second quarter. Diamond, here's what I'm about. First of all, you get a big return. You've got Mosley on the sideline. He's been covering Waller all night. I go, I, when, I get, when I get my hands on the ball here, I go straight to Waller. Trying to find Mosley over there. Can't find him at the moment. I think he's behind the majority of the folks over there. Why the trainer's attending to him. And when we spot him, we'll let you know what's going on over there. Maybe our brother Bill can give us a hand. Waller, the deep back. Tompkins, one of the up backs here at the 15 yard line. Cisco's kick, end over end. This is gonna be Waller at about the five. 10, 15, 20, 25 on his feet. Breaks through a line there, 30, oh. 35. And he's up to about the 37 yard line. And a good return by Waller of about 32 yards stand. I mean, there was some vicious hitting on this play. Great, great contact there. 
And then you look, you look back here, a great run and some real pounding there. Makai dishing out the punishment. Well, it's going to be 39. short of the 35, 34-yard line. 39, I, you're right, I apologize. So about a 37-yard return. Daniel Cashin will hover over that football, snap it back. I really can't the believe they, went, they, they kicked that deep on that. I can't either. Tompkins in the pistol, doubles each way. Great camera work by Bradley White and the gang. Hand off Lakai, and TJ thinks they can run against them, and for the most part, they've done a pretty good job with that, but four. A four-yard pickup that time. Second down and six. I still think you got to, while, while the iron is hot, you got to go to, for it. Take advantage of it. Second down and six. Ball at the 40. Is that Waller here at the bottom? Four-yard line. Yes. Yes, it is. You can always tell he wears those high purple socks or pink socks. Lakai again. Lakai breaks forward. And second effort is going to give him my piece. Very oh, close. Yeah, he should have I it. think he has it to the 49-yard line. Dad gum it. I'm just right. about to put that thing down. Here we go. So it's going to be first and 10, a Foundation Bank first down run. Well, two carries by the Kai, and you get 10 yards and a half. Stella Vaughn is saying, come on, guys, let's go. Well. Coach is applying that if, uh, if Mosley doesn't have the ball, he can't hurt us theory. First down and 10 for the Lions. Foundation Bank first down. We put a man in motion, fake the jet sweep to him, and give it to Lakai again. It's workhorse time for the big guy. Five yards. He's five yards down to about the 46-yard line. Lakai came in this game stand and just has had a sensational year, as you already know, if you follow TCA. He's got 55 on the night. Official got knocked down on that play. Did he really? White hat. Oh, my goodness. Hope he's all right. Now he's back up. Lakai coming in this game today. About 189 carries over 1,200 yards, 134.5 per game, 22 touchdowns. We need one here. Second down and five. Lakai again. Why not? Until they stop him, keep going to the well. He's almost got the first down to be about a yard short at the 40. Not quite to the 41. He had to get there, so it's going to be third and less than a yard. Pick him up. Uh Three, four on that play. Well, actually, it's a yard. Thought he got a little bit more than that. But we'll take it. Third down in a yard. Two down territory here. Tommy Colvin, the legendary one, is watching tonight. How about that? Doodle Butler. Doodle up in Greenfield. TC Tomcat, one of my favorite people of all time. Third down in the yard. State championship up at Humboldt. They give it to Waller on the jet sweep. He had the first down, then he tried to get back. Well, he got knocked, yeah. And he got knocked backwards, and it's going to be very close. Well, he's going to have if it. he cuts inside stand, I think he gets it, but who am I? I'm not an armchair quarterback, especially with a guy like Waller. Block by Lakai, but see, he had, to go, he had to go around that play there, and he reached out. That's going to be. They may measure that. They've got to measure that. That's where I got it. Yep. Yeah. Is that Gerald Parrish, the white hat? I think it is. I couldn't tell you. They got yeah, to bring change across the way. They brought it here near the TCA bench, and we'll hold it here for a minute, telling you that we'll be with you next week, next Friday, playoff time, determine on who the opponent's going to be and whether TCA will be the number one seed or number two seed. Well, they bring him in, Stan. I think he has it. I, that's, that long extended reach may have got him. I think he's got it. Chain gang coming across. That's Mr. Kata, it looks like. Tommy? No, no, that's not, that's not Tommy. Okay. Well, they'll stretch him here. All important. Got to have it. And it's going to be fourth and less than a yard or a first uh -oh. down. They stretch. He's got it by the length of the football. Woo. Great camera, guys. Foundation Bradley, great Bank job with the down. camera. What a great job. Yep. I'm still saying, we, I mean, we haven't even looked at a – Waller, yes. Yeah. TCA, I appreciate Tommy Carbon. I appreciate your nice comment. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Inside the 41-yard line, first and 10. Well, we're in that territory. I said this is, this is now becoming a must-score situation for TCA. There's not been many drives in this game, so we're going to have to score when we can. First and 10. They go to Lakai again. Lakai makes a guy miss, makes another guy miss, then falls oh, no. out, came right back to him. That ball bounced like a basketball, Tommy, and it came right back to him, thank goodness, at about the 36-yard line. 
Give him Ooh. the 35 and stand very dangerous. Yeah. But it's second down now in about five. He got five. Yeah. He was in the process of transferring from his right hand to his left hand. Mm -hmm. When he got a pick of a six, we're going to give him. Here's the near side is Zane Atwood. Waller's top of your screen. Jones is in the slot. Lakai's in the pistol behind Vales. They've got Delk off the uh, line there to block. He blocks for him, and then Lakai's going to plunge forward to the 31-yard line. And again, very close. I think he's about a half a yard short stand. We're going to see here. Third and about it. Oh, less than a yard. Look at that. Great job, Cash and Company. Pushing the big man backwards. 642 in the second stanza. Really, the offensive line for TCA is controlling They're really doing a, good a job. very good Jackson Christian defense line. And they've got they've got a new personnel package in there right now. If you well, know there's no doubt about it. Coach uh, Bowling thinks he can run against this Jackson Christian. Stalks defense. Is wide yep. open. Third in the yard. And man, Lakai falls down. It's going to be short. It's going to lose a yard or two. He just fell down. Tripped. Let's see this one more time. See what happened here. Did he trip on someone's foot or did uh, he fall on his own? That's, that's what, what I'm saying. thinking. Yeah, tripped on the – he caused foot on, a on veil, Vales', on Vales le leg a little bit. Yep. So it's a loss of a couple of yards, fourth and now about two. And the Jackson Christian faithful across the way rises well, as one. They've big, loud roar over there. Well, we've hurt ourselves. Now we've got to overcome that. Big, Waller big play. defended over there by Jack Collins, 101. They shade the safety over that way. Lakai has it. Lakai's got the first down. The Foundation Ooh. Bank first down to the 30. May gets to about, the, he may have got to the 28. First and 10, Lions. Uh, we'll see that. That's the Lion Roar stand on the scoreboard. So he got about four on that play. Haven't talked about the scoreboard, a new nope. addition this year. Jay's done a great job with that. Jay Cash in 28 yard line. The ball, the nose of it, resting right at it. Got to give credit to, to the offense, the two guards. And Jay Cash have done a wonderful job oh, yeah. in this ball game. I think you're right. Triples far side, I top of your screen. I must have shook one of their hands this week. I think you did. Here is handoff Lakai. Stutters step a little bit and delayed, but then it allowed the Eagle defenders to get there and knock him down for a short game. Well, he doesn't do that. He doesn't get that three yeah. yards yeah. almost. Second and seven, a long seven. Clock running, 4.54 in the first half. 10 to nothing, carries, Jackson Christian. 20 carries, 70 yards. TCA moving the ball, though. And they'll have it now. Second down and seven at the Jackson Christian, 26. Carol Hall watching. She's Nick Jones' aunt. Yes, ma'am. Go Lions. Here is Bales. They go to Lakai again. Lakai, big hole as he scoots his way. If they don't trip him up, he gets more, but he's going to fall forward to the 22. That's a nice trip up that time by number 22. And it's going to be third and two. And 55 got a hand on him too, Eli Craig. So we're going to give him about four on that play. And Trent Carrier. Well, it's going to be now third and three, a short three. Clock running, four minutes left in the first half. Well, TCA's accomplished something else, Dan. They've kept the Eagles – Offense off the exactly. field for the most part, a 60-yard pass and a 45-yard run, the, the two differences in the game. What you see is old, almost old-fashioned Union City offense. Power set to the right, Delk the tight end off the line. They give it to Lakai. Lakai is going to fall forward to about the 17 or down in, well, 19, excuse me. I think he's got it. No, I'm not sure. Wait, sure. fourth and a yard. So it didn't get as much as we thought on that play. No, I thought he got more, Stan, but officials did a good job. They're uh, right there on top of the play, not me. I, uh, well, I, I can't. I've got a double reflection. I, I see Coach P real well in the mirror. Hi, Coach. Frida Boyd, Boyle, Danette Pitts, Misty Grissom. Play Misty for me. Yeah, all those folks tuned in. Record Remember number of folks right now with us. No, Fourth and a yard. Clint Eastwood and moving. a timeout. I think Jackson Christians called the timeout, and they did. Will it be Lakai Tompkins time or will Vales run the option? We'll wait and see. 3.06 left, 10 nothing. Jackson Christian leads the game with 3.06 and a half, a quick 30 and back for decision time when we come back on the TCA Football Network. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. 
Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Diamond, we were talking on break, an absolute must-score situation for TCA. Looks to be, oh, Diamond, what is that, fourth and a yard, maybe a yard yep. and a half? Well, if TCA could punch it in, of course, they've got big play capability. If we punch it in, they'd still have maybe a series to go. But remember, TCA will receive the opening kickoff in the yep. third quarter. I'm, I'm, I've got to go. And Mosley still not in there <laughs> after an apparent <laughs> injury. Tompkins in the right pistol. side. Bales. Blitz coming. They put in motion. They give it to Lakai. Lakai Woo! breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle on his feet. They finally get him and will knock him down. And a good tackle that time by Wyatt, or he gets more. But, man, Stan, they had bodies on him in the backfield, but he broke free and got the first down, the foundation bank first down. So how many get off of that, about three? Yep, got about, let's see, Stan, they move it down to the 16. Stan, he got a good almost four yards, four or five yards that time. We needed three, and he got about five. Well, clock running, 255 and running here. And ran that into the well, short side. Well, they stopped it at 256. He had, he had to get to where he only needed 18 inches like, yeah. uh, Aubrey like Holly the living Richardson. legend. That's exactly right. Charles Ru Haynes. Bales runs the, the option this time. Flips it back. It's a oh. pitch back, but Delk's going to come up with it anyway. Boy, he did a good job going back to get an errant pitch, and he's at the 15-yard line. Well, Didn't get a lot, but. At least he it was positive to the 14 stand. Ooh. Nick yeah. Jones carried it. Excuse me. I thought that nine and zero, even in the night lights, looks a little blends in so a little bit. So he actually got two on that. Yeah. Yep. 220. The twos are wild. Now to 215 now left in the half. TCA ball control, but trails 10 nothing. Waller, top of your screen. Jones and Atwood here to the near side. Tompkins in the pistol again, right in behind Bales. They put Waller in motion. They will pitch it to Waller. Waller is on a run. He uh, steps inside and will get to about the 12, and that's it. Good defense by the Eagles. They smell that out. You know, they watch film just like TCA has. Now it's going to be third down, Stan. Probably two down territory, I would think. Third and a good almost six yards. So Waller on that play picked up. Boy, if you look at that one more time, if, if uh, Lakai would have took the handoff, a little quick step to the right, it was clean sailing. Yep. Now, now look at this. They, they take the ball. He had clean sailing there. We had, him, we had him blocked up. Third down and six. Bales drops back. They've got the pressure on him. He has to throw it away. Great play there. Pursuing that time was Gavin Walker, and Bales had to just throw it in the turf. Well, Stan, if they attempt a field goal here, oh. it would be about a 28-yard attempt. Diamond, here's the thing. You want to throw a screen pass. That's great. But before you can go out and get set up and you're blocking outside, you got to block someone on the line. You got to give some resistance. Atwood, the holder, gave more the, the snapper. They mark it actually at the 20. It's to be a 30 yard hash mark left attempt. Well, Boy, the Lions really need this from Willard, who's a really good kicker. Now First they a good snap. They came inside of Paguaga and 21 the last time. Snap back, ball down, kick up, and that kick has the uh, distance, and it has the accuracy. Good by Willard, and it's a 10-3 game with a minute 19, and Stan would have loved the touchdown, yeah. but right now the Lions will settle for the field goal, and they'll get the third quarter kickoff. Look, look at this. We did a much better job of blocking that Paguaga the first time, let him go, do a better job, much better job this time making the contact and crashing him back in. Field goal good. 10 to 3. We'll take a quick 30. Lions strike for the first time tonight. A minute 19 in the half. Stay with us. Quick 30 on the TCA Football Network. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Diamond Dave, they're thinking on sidekick. They got a good hands team up there. I would be surprised if Coach Bowling does that. By the way, Ann Hart is watching tonight, a good friend of ours from Trenton. Donnie, her husband, that's one of the great golfers in the area. Saw where he won a tournament later. 
lately. Sabrina Davis, Noah Malden, he and Dab were down to watch the Grizzlies last night. Noah, next time you go down, be sure to look up um, Brad Jones, the assistant for the Grizzlies, former head coach over at Lambeth, good buddy of mine. Here's Delk's kick, and he squibs it right down the field, and it will be picked up at about the 18-yard line to the 20-25. Someone's got to get a hand on him, and they do, finally. Great tackle there. Yeah, it was a great tackle. And who was that? that the was, little general. That was the general. You know, the general and the Atwoods have really developed, into, and, and others too, great special teams players. Well, Stan, a minute 13, and normally you'd say, well, okay, Atwood. you're leading 10-3, to three and just uh, go ahead and go to the house for, with a halftime score but with um, – Kelly, you never know. Yeah. Atwood, they're making that great low tackle. He's uh, become kind of famous for him. He only also sells insurance on the side. Okay. <laughs> well, here it is. First and Shot 10 likes at the 35-yard line. Rolling. Kelly. Pressure. Looking. Ball tipped up the air. And is it intercepted? I couldn't tell. No. He ain't going to play oh. that. Boy, that Lions. Let's watch the replay. See who got a hand on it, Stan. Well, Paguaga bringing the heat from the left side. Crashing in from the right. That was Harrison Vance. Yeah, Harrison, the big Sasquatch got his paw up there and knocked that away. Sure did. Well, a minute seven now left, second yeah. down and 10 at the 35-yard line. There is a distinct advantage when you have a giant of a young man playing on the defensive end. Yeah, Harrison's 6'3", but he looks even taller. Oh, he looks much bigger than that. that. Uh, those arms. He doesn't have the Tony Delk arms, but he's got long arms. Tony had the longest, has the longest arms of any human I've ever seen. Former MVP of the 96 Kentucky Wildcat Championship, by the way. Here is Kelly. They give it to – now they go to double handoff. They go to Lawrence, and he handed off to the slot guy coming yeah, this want, way. Yeah, I want to see somebody – we got a hand on him early. Yep. That and was, TCA, I think, he's going to call a timeout. Kobe made the stop. Yeah, Colby Moore come in. He recognized it. Third, third down to about seven cents. Six, anyway. They're going to call on. a timeout. Yeah, that's a great play by Kobe. Yeah, pick up, pick up of four – and we got a quick timeout. We're going to be back after this. It's TCA football on the Ball Game Blitz. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care, and let your smile say it all. Third and about six for the Eagles of Jackson Christian. TCA needing a big stop here, Dave. Four down, Lyman, and now whistles. Shrill through the night air. Yeah, let's see what that's about. Did they call a false start? Nope. I'm not sure what they call third. Well, they just set it right back down where it was, 39 yard line. Well, third and six. I'm digging the uh, drum line. Yeah, the drum line, boy, they do a great job. Third down and six. Kelly back there in that shotgun. Play fakes it. Lions have Blitz. a rush on him. He avoids oh. the defender and will throw it, and it's caught. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a touchdown. They throw it up and get. A they caught TC on the blitz, and Kelly just found Easton Jones. And Stan, that is a 62-yard strike. Oh. oh, my goodness, that's a backbreaker there. Yeah. Well, Kelly's thrown 34 touchdowns coming into the night. He's got two more. He's got 36. And Stan, we had the blitz, and they caught us in the blitz, and they found us one-on-one -on -one over there. And it was Easton Jones with the reception. Mm. Not how you want to do giving them momentum going into the half. Nope, because you're going to get the third quarter kickoff. And here's the PAT by Cisco. It's good. And just like that, it's a 17-3 game. Back after this 30 on the ball game blitz and where the road studios. Peggy Milam tuned in, by the way. Buying a home is a major milestone. And at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
Welcome back, everybody. Diamond Dave McCulley along with Stan the Man Gerard. Well, a big play. They've had a 60-yard strike to um, Mosley, who's out of the game right now, injured. They had a 45-yard gallop that set them up for a field goal, and now they've got a 62-yard strike. And Mr. Kelly's real deal, no doubt about it, as he hits that time Jones. And just like that, the momentum shifts back the other way. It's 17-3, to Jackson Christian now with 49 seconds left in the half. Here's the kick. Cisco just punches it down there. And Atwood is well, going to see it go out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. I do have a response for uh, Barry Cooper, who, you know, the drums do stop before the snap of the ball. There's no well, there's no horn going off on the snap of the ball, unlike there was a few weeks ago, sir. Well, 17-3. to three. What we were doing, what our guys are doing is perfectly legal. And, and they'll with, have to kick it the rules. That's that been many penalties in the game, but no. now they call, I guess, all sides that time on Jackson Christian. They got down the field too quick. So they'll move the ball back to 35. I wasn't crying about anything that night, sir. Just making a point, 49-5. I don't cry during football games. So it will be Cisco to kick it. Cisco's a really good kicker for so are we're, we yes, asked we sure. asked for him to kick re kick it, and I'm not saying that uh, saying that because I know his grandfather is a good good guy, but he's a good kicker, and Will is a good kicker for TCA as well. Well, 17 to three. Here's the kick, and Atwood's going to gather it in about the 28 yard line to the 30, trying to get here to the near side. Look for a block to the 40, outside oh, 45 midfield, and he's knocked out of bounds finally. At about the 47-yard line. Yep. And knocking him out that time was um, Mason Vaughn who knocked him out. And it's going to be the ball at the 46-yard line stand. And that's a good return by Atwood. And mark him actually yeah. at the 48. So it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line with 41 seconds. There's time. And the strike ability of Tompkins and Waller and Jones. And I could go on and on and on. And Delk and the Bales back there. Plenty of time for TCA. Boy, it would be big if TCA could answer here. Oh, boy. It, it would be everything first and 10 of the jackson christian 48 yard line tompkins in the pistol behind veils they put jones in motion they go to lakai though lakai nothing there at all some of the crowd thinking maybe we should pass the ball that time not yep saying pass the ball yep clock running down to 32.2 and coach bowling calls a timeout timeout Stan will take one with them. Timeout for Coach Bowling in the lines, 32.2. That took about 15 seconds off the play clock. So now it's going to be second and eight from the 46 back after this 30 on the TCA Football Network. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. I do like TCA's drum line. 32.2, 17-3, your score. 46-yard line stand. Coach Bowling's forgot more about football than I ever know, but uh, that surprised me, that call there that yeah. time. But he knows what he's doing. Second, he's won, he's won 246 games. I haven't won one yet. Yeah, he's won four state championships Sure as has, well. yeah. So he knows what he's doing. That may just be setting him up for a pass here. Bales in the pocket. Drops back. Throws. He's got wide open down there. And it, oh, no. Williams had it for a second off his fingertips. And then behind the play Delk. was Delk. And he had it on his fingertips. Oh. Boy, so close to being a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Tantalizing play there. Look at this. Well, Williams got a hand on it. Never really had it. Got a hand on it. Oh, my. Third down and eight from the 46. Larry Bell's tuned in. Hello, Larry. Just Mentioned says, Peggy Milam, my good friend, my lovely buddy. Long time administrative assistant. I was just going to say Lamb, that. She knew more about what was going on than any of us. She was your boss, actually. Actually, she really was. Third down and eight. If she said jump, you, you good. Here comes right. Peter Cotton. <laughs> Peggy and I had a lot of great days together over there. Third down and eight. And uh, my thoughts and prayers continue to be with Peggy and Braden and the entire Milan family and the loss of Roger. You love Roger, and so did I. He was a knucklehead. Third down and eight. 
Hand off Lakai. Lakai going to be short of the first down. He's going to move to the 40. That's going to take it down to 20 seconds. And it's going to be fourth and about two yards for the first down. But Stan, more important, the clock running down there. The clock continues to run down to I, 11 do seconds, down to 10, down to 9. I'm not sure what's going on here. And we, we've got timeouts. Six seconds, five seconds. Are we? Now we call a timeout with three seconds left. Well, I guess Coach Bowling saying, okay, it's fourth and two. Trust the system. But we're going to make well, sure that they don't have any time left. Well, here's the thing. Now you got – now you – you have no choice. You, you've got to chunk it. Chunk it down in the end zone and hope somebody can run under it. Still a little surprised with that, Stan. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, no doubt about it. Four state titles. and I don't think you and I have any trophies in the house, do we? I've got trophies, but none for coaching football teams. You got a hamburger in your hand. <laughs> well, three seconds all that remains. 17 to 7, Jackson Christian. Lions have not played poorly. It's just been three big plays that yeah. been bone crushers here for This us. has basically been a straight-up game. It really has. Even three big plays. It's been a well-played game and clean game. Waller, Delt, top yeah, of your screen. They're playing deep six now. Yeah, they'll have two or three people over on Waller. Vales rolls that way. Tompkins stays in there a block, tosses it downfield, and here's the play, and it's going to be intercepted by Jackson Christian. Ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and finally tackled the 45-yard line to end this half. We'll spot who got that. They double-team Waller, and great defense by Jackson Christian. Stan, who's that bringing that ball back? We'll try to spot tell. it for you. I can't tell either. Oh, it's number two. That's going to be Mason Vaughn. He's had a good, really, first half for Jackson Christian. The Eagles lead the game 17-3. to The Lions will have the third-quarter kickoff. Let's take a two-minute break. Back with stats, scoring recap, and more. This is TCA Football on the Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz Network. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy and the ball game blitz coverage of TCA football. We're at the half at 17-3. J-E-A, J -E Jackson Christian with the lead over TCA. Diamond Day will have the scoring summary when we get back. Let's take a look at some, uh, some scoring from around West Tennessee. Union City leads 14-0 over Lake County. Dyersburg over Ripley by 10. 
or excuse me, it's 15 all right now. Excuse me, right now. Henry County leads Hendersonville 24 7. Covington 21, Westview 6. Henry County 24 7, as we said. South Fulton 22 to 6 over Humboldt. McKenzie 28 0 over West Carroll. Dyersburg 29 15 over Ripley, as we said. Halls leads Gleason 28 12. Come on, Halls, let's get one in the season good. McNary leads Scott Hill in the second quarter 14 to 7. Uh, Dresden over Greenfield 49 and nothing. And let's see, we're going to switch modes here and go with some other scoring options and see if we can get some statewide scores and some scores that we are looking for. So allow me a second to punch that over and we'll see what you can get on the statewide side of things. Taking a look at the statewide scoreboard. Uh, let's see if we can get down to what we're looking for here. A lot of games being played tonight, as a matter of fact. Bolivar 36, Liberty 12 in the second quarter. You can see out front of Lake County now 21 to nothing. Uh, let's see here. We are no score. Ezel Hardy and Middle Tennessee Christian. Middle Tennessee is going to win that ball game. Columbia Academy leads Franklin Grace 28 to 7. I can pretty much say with a surety, Columbia Academy is your middle region champion. DCA, on the other hand, let's see, Cola, 28 to 7. And DCA, and that's the half, leads 14 to 10 over Nashville Christian. Uh, some other scores. Um, Nothing on Harding, Aca Harding Academy and Fayette. And that's a look at the scoring from West Tennessee and parts of the middle part of the state that we're trying to follow over the course of the night. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the unofficial individual stats. You're watching TCA Football, the halftime show, right here on the Ball Game Blitz. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Well, folks, some breaking news here. I could not tell the players, but two Jackson Christian Eagles have been carted off the field on the on one of our golf carts. 
So, and, and one of them looked like Mosley. I can't, couldn't tell. I heard a round of applause from the other side of the field, and it was two Eagles being carted off the field. So, there are two Eagles injured, and if you're being carted off the field, chances are you're not returning for the game. So, we're going to have to see what's going to happen with that. Offensive statistics. You are Jackson Christian with 91 yards rushing, 128 in the air for 219 unofficial total yards. Lawrence with four carries for 62. Jones with one for eight. Mosley, one for 21. Receiving Mosley with a touchdown and 57 yards on two receptions. Uh, Green with nine. And uh, Jones with a 62-yard reception. So they have 219 total yards. Most of their yards are on two big plays. A 50-yard run by Lawrence. A 60-yard reception by Jones. Or excuse me, by Mosley. And Jones with a 62-yard reception. For TCA, 90 yards of rushing. 10 on through the air for 100 yards of offense. Nick Jones with two yards. Waller with two yards. Tompkins, uh, 34 carries, 86 yards. Receiving... Waller, one for four. Delk, one for six. And that is the total receiving. Let's take a quick timeout, and when we come back, we'll have more right here on the Ballgame Blitz. Downtown town is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a division of McKinsey Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Diamond Dave, you're just back. Uh, breaking news, J uh, Mosley has been carted off the field along with another Eagle who I could not get his number, but it has been confirmed. Jalen Mosley has been carted off the field and I would suspect that means He's taking a ride somewhere, and it's not going to be the locker room. Well, certainly we hope he's okay. Offered by Alabama, Nick Saban last week. Uh, his heart's desire is thanks to play at Tennessee, and he's going to play at the next level somewhere. But our thoughts and prayers for Mosley and the other Eagle that was carted off as well. Here's your scoring recap. By the way, Matthew Coble, Coach Coble is watching. He's getting ready for a little round ball coming up here pretty soon. Here's the scoring recap. 9.53 of the first. Mosley from Wilson a, or Kelly. A 60-yard strike, 80-yard drive, 7-0 after the Cisco PAT. T. Shea took the ball, went right back down the field, had a chance.
came up short, a 22-yard field goal attempt by Willard was blocked. Then a 24-yard field goal by Cisco made it 10-0. That at the 10-26 mark of the second stanza. Tisha came right back, had something going again, drive stall. Then it was Willard, a 30-yard field goal with a minute 19 left, 10-3 your score. You felt pretty good about the field goal. Well, you felt good about where TCA was in the game, down 10-3 with a minute 19 left in the half. They were going to receive this third quarter kickoff, but then it was Kelly again this time, and he hit Easton Jones, a 62-yard strike with just 49 seconds left in the half. PAT by Cisco, and Stan, that's where we stand, 17-3. So woulda, coulda, shoulda. TCA's had some chances, but have come up dry other than the field goal. They're down by 14. They'll receive this third quarter kickoff and stand. A drive in this third quarter I think is crucial. If TCA can score, I think they're right back in the game and still have a great shot to win it. If they don't, well, it could be a tough second half. Mostly not in there, though, really hurts Jackson Christian. (coughs) Excuse me, but I think that's what we're going to have to do now. I thought we would do that a little more in the first half when Mosley went out. You know, I was I was always taught with you know when when you know, especially in basketball, you get you get a, a player hurt, you get, you attack that sub you attack that sub player, and go after and see what he's got right away, and maybe you can exploit something. We didn't really go after it that much. We just kept jamming the ball down the middle, and and and, and LT's had has had a nice game. He's got um, he is certainly the workhorse. I've gone with 34 carries and 86 yards rushing on the night. But Diamond, our lack of our lack of uh, passing offense, 10 yards total passing offense, has been the difference. Well, I in understand, this game. and I, you, I, and you understand why yeah. Coach Bowling has wanted to run the ball that keeps your offense on the sideline. Oh, absolutely. But this is a team stand that came in this game, 49 percent of their plays have been running plays on the year. 51 percent have been passing. And you've got a position now where one of the premier players in the state, not only in West Tennessee, but in the entire state of Tennessee, is basically out of the game for, you know, unless some miracle happens, Mosley's done for the night. You you don't get carted off the field and come back later. I wouldn't think so. It just doesn't happen. And again, our thoughts and prayers with the two Eagles, him being one of them. Two minutes before we. Kick off this third stanza in the second half. 17-3, Eagles lead the game. Let's take a one-minute break. One-minute break. We'll come back with the Lions having to be the comeback Lions tonight on Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should. You know what? I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Diamond Day, we're back here just a few minutes before the start of the second half. Columbia Academy leading Franklin Grace 28-7 to that game. You can pretty much th- lock it up that Columbia Academy is going to win the middle region. And here's something that kind of surprised me. DCA is leading Nashville Christian 14-6 to at the half. Word on the street, the Nashville Christian quarterback, who's, who's the one who just ripped us to shreds last year, you know, as a four or five star athlete, will be playing football for Baylor next season. He's been looking to get out. He's been the world on the street. Going to Texas and play for the Bears. Well, no, 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 no. No, the Baylor, they're in Texas. Baylor's in Texas. Baylor High School. Oh, Baylor Texas High School. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought National he was a senior this year. No, he's only a sophomore. Only a sophomore. All right. Yeah. Well, Stan, that, you mentioned on the street. You mentioned earlier some of the things that GCA did right and wrong. What do we have to do here to begin this third season? 100% we've got to score. 
on this drive, no questions asked. Great soccer you, you, coach, you, Chris Baker's tuned in. And meanwhile, May Webb. Robert Kraft. Yep. Coaching our in as well. But you got to score on this drive. It's, it's imperative. You've got, you know, I can't say again, your best player is on the bench or is is in in the locker room at least. He was carted off on a buggy. He's done for the night. So, to me, you know, it, it's a no-brainer. you got to attack that position. We've got to open up the offense some. Mosley is such a threat. Now, that doesn't say that doesn't mean they don't have other fine receivers, and they do. But Mosley is the huge threat. And, you know, he's the one that you got to be scared about. Yep. And we're just about ready. TCA going to get first crack at it here in the second half. And with the call of the second half, my bud, my pal, my paw, Diamond Dave. <laughs> All right, we get ready. It will be uh, Jones, Atwood, and Waller, the deep bed. You thought you'd get away with that, didn't you? Basham, Tompkins, and the other up man here is Zane Atwood. So we got the Atwood boys out there, got it covered. Now they're going to switch things around. Yep, look at T.C. playing a little cat and mouse with them. Cisco, a little short pooch punt. It's going to be Atwood at the 25-yard line. He's at the 30, 35 on his horse to the 45-yard line and scoots his way to the 47-yard line. Good return, Stan. Well, you pick your poison. You go down to Waller, the deep, or Atwood, and some of the up guys, and you give up a lot of yards. And TCA going to have the ball. Breaks one tackle there. Going to be about the 47-yard line. You see the drone going yeah. up in there. Well, outstanding field position. You're not going to get any better field position. And really, that's uh, – that's right at the 50, 58 yard line. Connor K comes out. Daniel Cashin, the first guy leading that offensive line out. They played pretty well tonight. Two receivers here to the near side, right there on the bottom of your screen as you watch. Tompkins will get the handoff again, a big hole, and he barrels his way to the 45 yard line. He'll pick up about seven yards, second and three. Oh, let's go ahead and give him eight, Diamond Day. All right, eight got, yards. Got a little more than I thought. He sure did. Second down in a long two. Diamond, you look make it three. You look at that defense for Jackson Christian. They're playing three deep, three deep coverage there. Tompkins again just waits his time, lets the offensive line do their work, and he springs forward down to the 40-yard line, or downward in this case. It's got to be a first down, a foundation bank first down to open up a positive way to open up this second half. 98 yards on 26 carries. They See, get the if you're TCA gonna, chant going here. If you're going to continue the ground and pound, then your defense is going to have to make some stops. Second down or make it first down and 10. Second series of plays here. Bales, Tompkins again. Tompkins dances his way, gets yardage down to the 35. It's a cloud of dust and five yards about every time he carries it. Yep, near 100 now. He's at the 35-yard line. So pick up a five. So 36 carries, Dan. Yeah, on he is. Uh, Check that. He's at. I'm. 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 At, he is on this. Blah, 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 blah. He's over 100 yards. 20. That was 27 carries. Okay. Excuse me. My, that is my fault for I getting. To, you know. Once again, I'd make a perfect official. I need my eyes checked. <laughs> Second down and five. They've done a good job tonight. Other than that one play oh, yeah. we thought they missed. Here's Tompkins. Hand off Vales. Tompkins. Another foundation Keep bank pushing. first down. It's a scrub. He's still down. He's Keep still pushing. on his feet all the way inside the 25-yard line to the 23-yard line. He and the line, offensive line, taking care of business. 10, 13 yards in that play. Clock running. We approach the 10-minute mark. Actually, 10-20 now left in the third. TCA they took this it. kickoff, and they moved it from their own 47-yard line. Are you, are you saying uh, Lakai is doing Elvis style? He is. 23-yard line. Lakai again. Lakai will duck his head this time and move downfield inside the 20 and dance his way to about the 19. That's going to be. Second and six. You know, another four. And I can't. He's got 119 yards on 20. I can't, I can't say enough about the play of our offensive line, especially Cash and company, the guard, you know, the whole offensive line is pushing them backwards, and you're, and you're pushing that big board right in the center of your screen, too. No doubt about it. Bales, three man front. Lakai and the pistol. They give it to him again. He goes outside a little bit this time, cuts it back inside, inside the 10, down to the five, down to the six. First 
Then gold for the Lions of Foundation Bank. First down again, and Tompkins that? in the offensive line, Eden Jackson, Christian's lunch right now. What was that, 11 yards? Yep. Melissa Vaughn, Mel uh, Melissa George Carson, excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to tell you Lovely why, Lovely friend Donna. of mine, played at Gibson County. He's they're watching. Th they're playing three deep on the offense, and they're, and they're pulling one. So they're playing a four-man down front, two linebackers, and playing three deep in the backfield. Lakai again. Lakai looking for a hole, doesn't find much to the five, and he's going to be hit there. Going to pick up maybe two, second and goal from the five. Well, Stan, you got to score a touchdown here. You just can't go for a field goal, and you can't come up dry. You got – you have to. I, well, 17 to three, you really need a touchdown desperately here. Oh, by the way, he now has 31 carries and 131 yards. A uh, field goal would only bring you within – no, we don't. 11. You got to score. Let's just forget field goals. Yep. We need six. Yeah, I think it's two down territory. He doesn't get anything here. Maybe a couple of yards to the three. Excuse me. And that's it. Let's try to get the ball outside a little bit here. It's going to be third and goal. And the ball will be marked at the three. Make it four yard line. Good third and goal there. Two down territories, I would think, Stan. Good penetration by defensive end for Jackson Christian there. Yeah, let's credit Jackson Christian, too. I don't think we've credited them enough, Stan. They've no. made some big defensive plays yes, when they, they had to. They really Especially have. Especially on the edge, they've made big plays. Sure have. We're, we're very well known for getting some good plays on the edge. And they've schooled us on the edge, but it's opened up the middle. We are down, we're down to almost the eight-minute mark. Here's the pass in the end zone. Is it caught? No. Incomplete. Try to go to Waller. And two defenders down there all over him. Well, fourth down. What do you do, Dave? Yeah, I think you I think you had to go for it. Oh, look we had across the middle. Wide open. One. That's great defense by Jackson Christian. Delk wide open on the down and in there. Nobody on him. Vales took a hit too, and he delivered that. Well, the crowd trying to pick up the lines. Well, across the way, they stand as one, two, Jackson Christian fans. Jumbo. Big play, obviously. Fourth and goal from the four, down 17 to three. Lions will go for it. Vales is going to run this way. He's going to toss it in the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown, yes. Lions. How about that? Wide open. Is that Atwood? No, that's a single. Let's see. That's Atwood. That is. Who caught that, Stan? That is. Atwood. Yeah, Atwood. I thought it was Atwood. Yes, sir. That is what, number. That was that number. Who was that? Well, that may have been. Who was it? We couldn't tell down the line. That glass here gets real dark on me right here in the left. Yeah. So who caught it, Phil? Waller, he says. PAT. And it's touchdown and extra point, and the Lions are within seven. 17 to 10, 7.56 in the third. We'll sort it all out right after this. Stay with us. Run into the middle. Run in the middle booth and see. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pool's massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Well, I guess, Stan, we should teach ourselves. Go with your first, first instinct. instinct. It was Atwood, yes. Yep. Inter Sandman. This class gets a little dark to my love, yeah, and that's in the corner it was. Here's the... And that, that ball's free. That's it's an ball, onside ball, kick, and be. the Lions have it. I don't, be, yes, sir. Said I don't think we really meant to do an onside kick. Well, it was see, just a squib. Let, let's see it again here. Here's the kick by Delt. No, he, he just didn't hit it. It, and it that, bounced off an up guy. Yeah, and it's going to be the Lions with the football at the Jackson Christian 48-yard line. You remember the scene from the water boy who, who, who the kicker was looking for? Remind me just of that play there. Lark Taylor says, way to go, Lions. Frida's back in the game. Suzanne Atwood. Yeah, that was Zane Atwood. Yes, it was. That's what I call, and we went with our instincts, and it's right and verified. Well, Waller, far side right. Zane Atwood has had a great year. 
That would boys. Doubles low part of your screen there, near side. They go to Lakai. Lakai cuts it inside. Now darts outside, Don't and they knock three. him down after a three-yard pickup to the 45-yard line. The crowd is in the game right now. Down 17-3. The Lions do exactly what you want to do. They march it down the field. They score on a four-yard touchdown pass from Bales to Atwood. It wasn't an onside kick. It was just a low scribbing kick that went off one of the front linemen. It's going to be. Uh, that's how we drew it up on the board. That's, that's right. Much. Second down, almost four. Second down and six. We got more out of that than I thought. Bales turns and says something to Lakai. Lakai has it again, and he plunges his way down to about the 43, and that's it. Maybe big two. Nose, big, look at the big nose guard making the penetration here. Yeah, he's, he's huge. 375 pounds of him. But see, Diamond. You can block. You can block down with a right tackle there, and go and angle out to that C gap, and you got one-on-one -on -one coverage there. Third and five. Crowd in the game. 6:50 left here in this third stanza. TCA oh. is struck, and it's 17 to 10. They have the ball in Eagle territory. With this uh, thing here, I have to work off the screen. Yep. Bales, Tompkins, and that pistol play face it over the middle. Caught by Nick oh. Jones, and a first down, a Foundation Bank first down, a zipper right into Nick Jones, the sure-handed one, and bails to a bullet. Slick Nick with the play. Slick's parents, I hope, like that nickname. Oh, they do. 6.30 left here in this third stanza. And, and, and I'll add to that a great big whoo. 34-yard line. Hand off, Lakai. Lakai, breaking tackles, moves his way 29. to the 30. Picks up about four. Give Second, him, let's give him five. Yeah, Second and five. 29. We're going to be optimistic. Teaching point. Look look how he carries that ball with his hands there. One on top, one on bottom. He's got that ball protected. He's t treating that ball like it's gold. Trace Robinson, the conference golfer of the week, right below us here, coming back up with a soda. I'm sure Dad gave him the money. Doubles far side right, top of your screen. Lakai again. Lakai has a head of steam, bobbles that football, and then they push him back Flag. as he makes his way to about the 28. Flag at the 25. Let's see what that's about. I don't see the flag. Where is it, Stan? It came to 25. It's on a hash by this Jackson back Christian's here. reacting the way it's against. It could be a, it's got to be a hole on TCA, I would think. Coach Bowling has come out of his jacket. Uh -oh. I'm about to put mine on. The fan behind me uh -oh. is pretty cool. We can turn that off if you want. I think we might have to. Holding on the Lions. Well, that negates the momentum the Lions had. It's going to go back to second down, but now it's going to be second and about 12. The ball moved back to the 35. Yep. You agree? I agree. James Dusenberry is watching over on the East Coast. Will Keltner is watching. South Carolina. Charleston, I believe. Ash is with us. Ash Robertson. Ben Hall, the third. Here's play fake. They go here to Jones. Jones, Wide 20, open. 15. Jones, they throw him out of bounds on the 12-yard line, but not before another foundation make first down. And the Lions now have to run the ball 90% of the game. Take it up top. See, that was at the at the uh, about 34. And he's going to be taken out of bounds at Inside, about the 8. Yeah, well, actually at the 12, Stan. 12. At the 12, which is where they rest the ball. So at the 22 moment. yards. 537 to third. Jackson Christian without Mosley, who went out after defending a pass play, and he's not come back. Tompkins in the pistol. LT time. They grab him in the backfield, but he takes two or three Eagles with him down to about the eight. Some, some Jackson Christian, but it looks like he suplexed him forward for more yards. Looked like a helicopter wing. Didn't look, he? look, look at this again. <laughs> He took him to Suplex City, but added yeah. yards to the play. Yeah. Yep, there you go. WWE style, but not before LT. Burns them for almost five yards. Second and a short six. Clock running, 5.09 left in the third. TC has made it 17-10 and knocking on the door again. 144 on 34 carries. Stella says you got to have faith. You sure do. Vales runs. Pitches the option to LT. They have him cornered mm. back there. He evades the Whibby tackler. Makes another guy oh. miss. Makes another guy miss. Touchdown. He is into the end zone. Touchdown! Oh LT my. the Lions. The Lions within a point of tie this thing up. Where, how long was that? Let's look at this that again. That was 12 yards. Look at this play. We're going to watch it again after that. 
Play, play it one more time for me. I want, to, want you to look at his stiff arms Ball there. at the eight. It's an eight-yard run. Eight-yard run. This is. They had two men on the quarterback. Thought they were going to get him. Stiff arm. Bam. Planted him. All important. PAT and another coming one. up. Planted him in the ground. Snap back. Ball down. Kick up. That kick is propelling its way toward 412. It is good. And we're tied at 17. 449 in the third. Stay with us up 30. Uh, Worthy Road Studios and the ball game blitz. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. Jackson Christian takes Lakai Tompkins to Suplex City. Lakai Tompkins re returns the favor and takes Jackson Cri Christian to Stiff Arm City with two on that on that touchdown run, and we are tied at 17. Oh my, Dave McCulley. Stan, they had him cornered back there. One guy missed him, then Lael T made about three other guys miss him, and then stretched with all of his worth and scored that touchdown to tie this game after the Willard PAT. That ball scoots out of bounds across the way at about the 25-yard line. Well, without their big superstar, Mosley, the Eagles now will have to score again to take the lead. It's 17-17. Lions have come storming off the deck here. Well, let's not. Clint Patterson, Katie Simpson, Nancy Lack. Frida Ball, Sabrina Davis, they're all checking in. They're all happy right now. But we have seen now that Jackson Christian bleeds. That's Clint and Stacy Patterson. Don't leave Stacy out. We have popped them in the mouth, and Jackson Christian bleeds, Dave McCulley. 35-yard line. Here's the ever-dangerous Kelly, though. He's still got some weapons out there. Doubles, far side left, top of your screen. Got to go with a tie again, I would think. Kelly, they go to Deuce Lawrence. Deuce is open, broke a couple of tackles. They try to strip. The ball is loose. Get the it, ball get is it, loose. Get it, get the it, Lions it. have it. The yes, Lions yes, have yes. It. The Lions have it. Woo! Coming Let's see that again. Joshua Vincent, watch the strip stand. Watch this yes. strip. And then Vincent recovered the fumble. Nick Jones, slick Nick with the strip. And it was Nick. Snick? <laughs> slick Nick with a slick strip. Snick and with... then coming up with it was Joshua Vincent on the fumble recovery. It was Slick Snick Jones. <laughs> he did it a lot better than I described it. 438, <laughs> 40 yard line, first and 10. It's it been a totally matter. different game in this third stanza. Well, and that defense, not much time to rest yeah. for Jackson Christian either. You know stand. what? They're playing a little Devo. You know what? When a problem comes along, yeah. you must whip it. Tompkins in the pistol. Good. They go to Tompkins again. He tries to get outside, makes two or three guys miss. Should have not got anything. And what did he do? He gets almost six yards. Again, look at this, how he takes his hand. He's holding the ball one-handed, pushes him to the side. Just knocks him. How strong is this kid to just give what's like a glancing blow? Adam Green says we fly. need to call him Tricky Nick. I agree, 17 all. We have a lot of nicknames for him. Well, Coach Bowling came out of the jacket. It's been a different game. 17 all. We're tied four minutes when we snap this ball this time. Waller and Delk, far side right. Jones and Atwood here on the near side. And now I think maybe T.C. caught with the delay of game. Let's wait and see. No, Blake Clock was at 11. Yeah, it sure was. Illegal motion. Yep, illegal motion. And baby, you know that's against the rules. Well, you know, Stan, T.C. overcame a penalty in that last drive. Yeah. They'll have to do it again. It's going to be second down and nine now. The ball back to the 39. Still not, 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 not nothing to get worried about yet. I got to come, I got to come left side with it here. B gap left side. Second look, down look. and nine. Let Vance go one on one with this guy and running back go on this guy right here. Lakai time again, and they got him this time. Yeah, they blitzed. And maybe a half a yard or yard, and that's it. It's going to be third down and a good eight, almost nine yards. Yeah, they blitz right into that coverage that time. Great job by the linebacker. Delayed blitz came in. They were blitzing from both sides. And that's why we've been really, that's one of the reasons we've been going up the middle. Their linebackers do a good job of blitzing and then reading what's coming their way. And, and credit them, that, that's that's their event. And that's, yeah, that's all because of that. Uh, oh, oh, 
the coach from Milan. I can't even think of his name right now. John Wade Tucker? No. Talking assi- about now? The assistant coach. I can't think oh, of his okay. name. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll come up with it. Now Blitz. they got the Blitz. The Lions go to Tompkins. Tompkins 35. Tompkins out of bounds near about the 33 yard line. It's going to be about three yards short of the first down. Then Vales did a great job unloading as they had the linebacker coming right in on him. And he got away, got that ball away just in a little of time. By the way, Sean Davis said he stepped away for a few minutes. Different game. He said, I hate that I missed it. Sean, you can watch the replay at Worthy Road Studios later. Fourth and three, the ball at the 33. Well, they made something positive out of it looked like a disaster for a second there. Here we go. Another big play. How many big plays have we had in this oh. game? You would expect it. Fourth with and two three. great, great teams. Play clock down to 14, down to 13, down to 12. They call in the play. Coach Mancini from up top here. They play fake it. They go this time. There's Jones again. Nick Jones has got another one. Yes. Call him Trick Nick. Call him Slick Nick. Call him Nick Jones with a foundation bank. First down. 10, 13, 14 yards on that play. Diamond and again, Dayton. Vales delivered, and how is Nick Jones getting so wide open, Stan? They're giving so much coverage to Waller. And they're watching inside for Lakai Tompkins. Yeah, it is. And and, and, I'll be, and Nick Jones has been, has been playing with uh, you know some nagging injuries for a good part of the year, but he continues to deliver like a boss. Tompkins in the pistol. It's LT time. Waits for the hole to develop. It does develop, and he moves inside the 15, down to about the 12. Picks up four, Stan. Yep. Second and six. That's going to be 165 on 37 carries. Jash and Christian's offense not able to get on the field. That keeps the very dangerous Austin Kelly off of it, obviously. And And now this this is what we were questioning in the first half, but now we're seeing it pay off here in the second half, Diamond Day. No doubt about it. That defensive line, as good as they are, for Jackson Christian has to be tired. worn down a little bit. Adam Green checked in, says, yes, sir. It's going to be second and six. Here is the handoff to Lakai. They were waiting on that yeah, one. Yeah, they were waiting on that one. They play faked it to Jones on the sweep that time, and Jackson Christian did not bait, and a really good defensive play by the Eagles. Ooh. Good penetration. Look at that. That's great penetration. Yeah, That's number 18. That is uh, Gavin Walker, a good defensive player for them. We needed to get to the outside a little more. The hole was there, but it was to the outside of it, if you notice that. Walker is 6'4", 220, still get, but still and a junior. Still, what, gained the yard? Bales rose. Bales throws, and it's caught by Waller. Waller breaks a tackle, and, but he can't quite get to the first down chain. He's inside the 10 at about the 9. Stan, got to get down to about be fourth and I think they're gonna send Willard in they are Willard's gonna come in for the go-ahead field goal the ball's at the 12 it'll be marked at the 19 to be about a 29 yard field goal attempt Atwood will set it down Moore will snap it now remember they brought pressure from the right before 29 right. yard field goal by Willard a minute 32 left in the third they're overloading they're overloading our left TC attempting the go-ahead field goal with 132 in the third. The staff is back. The ball is down. The kick is up. It has the distance. Does it have the accuracy? You can write it down. It does. Field goal by Willard. But yes, 29 yards. And the Lions have stormed back to lead 20 to 17. Back after this 30 on the TCA Football Network. No matter where you are. You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Diamond Buy a truck PCA in your jammies. Off the deck. Down 17-3 at the half. We've scored 17 straight points. Uh, Stacy Patterson, Frida Boyle, Andrea Cleek, Jenna Vinson, Stella Vaughn, Stella, Adam Green, amongst <laughs> others. Yo, Stella. <laughs> 17. Well, the Lions lead the game three and a, uh, by three, but still a long way to go in this one. Uh, we got 13 and a half minutes. About 17 unanswered points to take this lead. I need a pill. Down 17 to three at the break. 
Some people would agree. Here's with that another statement. squibber, and that ball will be fielded at about the 25 yard line on Ooh. about the third hop. Coming up with it, and that's going to be a great tackle oh, wow. by Atwood. Atwood, a great tackle. That, ladies and gentlemen, by Owen Atwood after it was picked up by Jack Collins. You and know, the Lions Diamond, are just out playing Jackson Christian right I, now. I wish I had I wish I had a camera right now. Because we got Jay Cash in front of us. He's helped us so much over the last two years. But to get Tim Watts to just be a dad for a few minutes, it's really thrilling to watch. The closest game Jackson Christian's had. They had an eight point game. A seven point game. Good pasture and North Point Christian. Yep. And other than that, they've not been contested. Right now the pressure's on them. They hand it off to the running back and running it with authority. Great run by, that's going to be carrying the ball to the 30 and up to about the 32 yard line. And that was Easton Jones who had the big catch for them right before the half. He picks up six. five yards, make it six, second and four, the ball at the 32 yard line. Long way to go in this one, one minute in the third. TCA leads the game now, 20 to 17. They're really shifty about how they do their handoffs. They've got some great cuts and angles that they use. Suzanne, that was a great tackle. Hand off again and hitting the hole Boom. this time, but nothing. I fumble, mean, fumble, nothing. fumble. And the Lions said they had the football. Let's wait and see. And the official. It hey, is. hey, 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 who is that? That was a fumble by Jones, and the Lions have it again, and Look, it's turnover city by the Eagles right now. I want to say we're going to we're gonna here with the announce replay. it here. Watch the replay, folks. There's the handoff, the handoff there. Oh, hammer and Hank Miller with stripped the contact. It, and strip that thing away. And the Lions have great field position again with you know, 41 you, seconds left. It's at the 34-yard line of the Eagles. You know what his mama says? Break it down. It's hammer time. <laughs> well, 34-yard line. First and 10, Lions. Waller, far side. Delk in the slot. Here the near side. Atwood and Jones. The pistol. Formation with Tompkins behind Vales. Hand off Lakai. Dances inside. Oh. Dances outside. Dances back outside. And he's going sideways instead of straight line this yeah. time. And a great tackle there. And a he, good tackle by Carrier and others. Yeah, look at, look at that linebacker blitzing all the way from the inside. Made the contact. He broke that. But credit Jackson no Christian. They've done a great job of not get, letting Lakai get outside. Now, what they've sacrificed is some stuff in the middle. But they are not letting him get to the edge. Holding on TCA. Ah. And that will move TCA back. The white hat is setting it down, and he'll give it to the official, and let's see what they mark off. They'll mark it off from just the 29. So they'll move it back to the 44-yard line. Ooh, they'll set it down one. there, and it's going to be first. So now we've got to get to the 24, so it's going to be first and 20. I mean, just barely over the 25. Well. First and 20 at the 44-yard line. See, and they're still playing with three deep safeties there, trying not to give up the long play. That's opening up things underneath. So doubles each way, short side of the field, right there at the bottom of your screen. Bales double clutches, throws, it's caught. Atwood catches it, positive yards, down to the 35. That is Zane Atwood again. He's been big in this game tonight. Yes, he has been. That picks up the 10 that they lost, just about. So it's second and about 11. Let's see. So Ball just short of the 35. 31.4 seconds left in the third. TCA was down 17 to 3 at the break. They lead now 20 to 17 with 31.4. Yep. Pistol formation again. Put, put a man in motion. They give it to Lakai. Boom. He booms his way inside the 35 and scoots his way to about the 32. We'll bring up now third and seven. 38 carries unofficially, 169 yards. Lakai Tompkins, Diamond Day, he hasn't done anything fancy tonight. He's just taken his lunch pail and went to work. How many carries now? He's got 38, and like I said, these, those are working man's 38. yards. That's going to be the last play of the third quarter. Coach Bowling will let the clock expire so he can talk about it. When we come back, it'll be third and seven. The ball at the 32-yard line of Jackson Christian. T. Shea will have the third down play when we come back. They lead the game 20 to 17 after trailing 17 to three at the break. This is TCA football on Worthy Road Studios at the Ball Game Blitz. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your well. <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. 
Shop Jones Chevrolet Humboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Diamond Dave McCauley, as we go in the fourth quarter, TCA down 17-3 at the start of the half. They lead 20-17. We'd like to welcome all those of you watching around the state and around this great country of ours. Welcome, and you're seeing one whale of a ball game, Diamond Day. Third and seven at the 32-yard line. TCA leads the game 20-17. to 17. Again, a must-score situation for TCA. Double seat side, Bales rows this way. Bales looks, Bales throws down there. He's trying to go inside the end zone, and it caught. Oh! oh, my! Touchdown, Trinity Christian Lions! That is 32 yards on the reception. Who, who got that, Double D? What a throw by Bales. On the run and galloping and unloads, and let's see who gets it. And that's great coverage. What a play. Cannot see the arms are in the way. We'll get our director, Philip Robertson, to check that for us. A 32-yard strike. And Mr. Vales delivers again. And the oh, PAT is up. That? And it is good. It is 27-17. 24 unanswered by the Lions with 11.51 left in the game. A 30 on the TCA Football Network. Well Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Well Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Well Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Delts are watching, and they'll be happy to know we couldn't tell in that right end of that corner down there. It was one Joshua Delt that caught the 32-yard bomb from Bales, and TCA's put 24 unanswered on the board. And right now they've got Jackson Christian on their heels, undefeated on the season. They're a great football team, and they have big strike potential. No need to put this one in there when even think about the win column. Yep, Will Keltner says, let's go, boys. Tommy K. Scott Kaler, they're all watching tonight. Sabrina Davis says, way to go, guys. Here's the kick. Gathered in inside the 10, 15, 20. On the special teams, the Lions have oh. people crashing downfield. And at the 30-yard line, the Eagle comes up short there. That's Easton Can't Jones, win. who's been a big play person for them all year. And that time, a good return of about 25 yards. Tanner Webb on the contact with TCA. It is now. 11.45 in the game, 27 to 17, and this crowd on this side is electric. Don't be fooled. It is 27 to 7. 30 yard 30, line. 34 to 7, Columbia Academy leads. They will win the uh, Mill uh, Region Championship. The Lions now defensively. They go to do Kobe Lawrence. Moore. Kobe Moore. Hello, sir. A tackle in that backfield. A loss of a couple of yards, or maybe no, no gain. Big Ed Moore approves. No doubt about that. He's watching above tonight. Best seat in the house. 30-yard line. It's going to be second down and 10. Stan, what? Penetration by Kobe Moore. Oh, I mean, and, and just a great one-on-one -on -one open field tackle. Eagles back in their heels a little bit. You can tell the lines are on their tiptoes. Second down and 10. Kelly rolls right, wants to throw. Throws it downfield, trying for the bomb, and it's guy down there, and oh, he dropped, dropped it. it. Oh, my goodness. He was open. Oh, my goodness. That was almost caught by Walker. Boy, the Lions fans, a deep sigh of relief. Almost a big play there, and Kelly can wing it as good as anyone you'll see. Third down and 10. So... Lions have stormed back after being down 17 to three. It's 27-17 TCA in one of the biggest games we've ever had here. 
through the years, and we've had some doozies. Oh, man, it's, it's been a few years. It's been since Kyle Aiken's senior year that we won a region championship, if I'm not mistaken. Diane Delk says, thanks for checking that replay. It was Joshua. Yes, the Delk family. Kelly drops back in the pocket, throws a bullet. And incomplete. Oh! Should have been caught. The tight end had his hands on it. That ball should have been caught by one Daniel Green, and the Lions get another big break. And it was almost, almost intercepted after he missed it. By the little general. Stan, Darby Palmer, is he going for it here? Got to, I think. Four down and, and ten. 11 4 left. Yeah, that, with Lakai running the ball the way he's run it. And the offensive line, Stan, I, I totally agree with you. You know, on that He replay, may push punt it, though. Let's wait and see. If He's back in the shotgun. Singles each way. Drops back a little bit. Yeah, he's going to push punt it. Gets it out of there. And T.J. wisely doesn't have anybody back there. And it takes. Don't, Gilroy, don't, Gilroy, don't Gilroy. The ball. Boy, that would scare no, me a little bit that time. Not, no, don't do that again. Owen has played great. Don't scare me like that. Jana Kaler's tuned in tonight. And this crowd is electrified, to say the least. Electrifying, I should say. There's Kristen Lee down to down to our lower right, and she is just wired. It is now 40-yard line. With the Lions ball control here, a couple of first downs would go a long way to stalking this thing, at least putting an early nail anyway. It's too early probably to say that, Diamond Dave. You've been around too long to do that. Shush. Look at, uh, you see uh, Harrison Vance came out and talked to Vales. All right, little Ann. We got you, you back. You listen to him. Vales dealt. Oh, excuse me. Lakai. Lakai falls upfield a little bit for maybe a yard. And that's it. Should have hit. Could have hit. Big guy, Stan. Big number 79. The guy we bragged yeah. about all night. Cedric Anderson is not getting up. If he would have hit He's got to be. Stan, he's got to be worn exhausted. out. 375 pounds. Now, remember, Stan, they've only had like nine, ten <laughs> snaps in this whole half. Oh, I could use a You're cold. choked up. I could use a cold drink right now. Well, pick up a maybe two. We'll give him a yard and a half. Yeah. Second down, eight and a half yards. Clock running. TCA's ally right now. Here's Vales back there with it. Lakai. That's not Lakai. That's running the ball a different running back this time. Who is that? And we'll double check. Was that? Was that? Kobe, Kobe Moore, Moore back the big there. Cheese. How about the big cheese taking it? Thank you very much, Philip. With his ball first at the 45 the yard year. line. 45 yard get? line stand is third down now and five. 9.55 left in the game. You remember when Colby Moore was in the eighth grade, had three rushes for 18 yards against Nashville I Christian in that, that playoff game? Third and five at the 45. Boy, it'd be big to convert here. Keep this clock running. Moore back there again. Gets that handoff. Moore will plunge his way Gets to about, about the 47. No, I'll make that two. It's going to be fourth and about three. Stan, I think he got to punt it here. Coach Bowling playing the percentages here. His defense has done a really good job throughout the game, especially in this half. And it will be dealt back to punt it. And Jackson Christian does not drop anyone back there to receive it. Uh, they may be coming after him here. Yeah, they have to be. They, Jackson Christian has got... They've got to, they are totally on their heels. Clock's running under 10 minutes. They've got to make some th something happen. Well, They've got I'm, to take those dice and roll. If I'm T.J. and Coach Bowling is watching that clock, look at him watch the play clock. It's down to 13, down to 12, under nine minutes now. He won't snap that ball until it's about two. A two-score game. Down to seven, down to six, down to five. Delt gets the snap. Delt will put a nice punt high in the air. They call for the fair catch down there. And oh. falling down with it, but coming up with it is Easton Jones. Great punt by Minister Delt. And, and the and ball's at the 16-yard line. First and 10 Eagles. They're down by 10 after leading by 14 at the break. Cold. And Stan, look at their line walk. Look at big. Yeah, they're tired. Look at Anderson. He's barely able to get off the field over there. And I'm not being cruel. He's a great player, but he's, he's got to be worn out. Now, on that punt, Colby Moore was, because you can't cover the center, Colby Moore was down there hulking up. He, he was ready to pounce on it and make it happen. He actually, that's why the, the guy fell back. A little. He was intimidated by Colby Moore. First and 10, Austin Kelly, the great quarterback, one of the best in the state. And they've got pursuit on the lines, too. He's going to run the ball this time. He'll go outside and just dart out of bounds at about the 22 or 3 yard line. Kelly has only run for 14 yards on the season. He's a great quarterback, isn't he, Stan? Yeah. Uh, he's, he sees the field very well, picks up six. Second on down that and four. You know, he's, he's got some decent speed. 
Daddy, Jay Cashin, our executive producing director, is He's now pacing. just Daddy. He's watching this thing and pacing. Well, they run it this time. Lawrence carried it. Deuce. The Deuce Maybe carried it. Three, two, three. Third and a yard. Clock running at 8.20. Jackson Christian trying to go in the nuddle. Very quick offense. Deuce to the left of Kelly. They give it to the Deuce. Deuce would go outside, and he didn't get it. Oh. He did not get it. Line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's fourth down now, Stan. Yeah, let's see be this about again. It. He may have lost a yard. He gets the ball clean. He's got two guards pulling no, for him. they say Ford Progress gave him the first down. I didn't see that. Uh, he, I did not see that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he did get it? Okay. Yes, yes, he did. Yeah, you know, we thought the rev was wrong on that, but replay proved the officials correct. Yep. I'm afraid They've done a good job it. tonight. Deuce Lawrence got it. Didn't get it by a lot, but he got it. They give it to Deuce again. Trying to get outside, and he's corralled and hit back in the backfield. Oh and boy, oh what a great hit. And watch this replay. First guy there, then the second guy that got him. That was that made initial contact. Looking fine off the play there. Pagagua's had a great year. Brings him down, slows oh, him play. down. And then finishing Second him hit, off. and then look at this. Crash Kragok bringing the wood. 7.30, clock running, fourth quarter. TCA scored 24 unanswered, and they lead this game 27-17. Totally different second half. Kelly in that backfield. Looking, Pressure. looking. Goes on the fly pattern here. He's going downfield, and that is incomplete. Gabe Lee, great defense. That's Gabe it. almost came up with the interception. And, and Diamond, you know, look, look Pressure there. Great and, coverage and the, by Gabe Lee. Look at this. Man. They're and both chicken fighting for intended it. Intended receiver was Jack Collins. His brother, Tom. Get it. I get it, unfortunately. <laughs> Third down and about 11, two down territory again for Austin Kelly and company. Kelly in that backfield. Triples here to the near side. TB, Thomas Barnes, list watching. Great, great basketball player here. His lovely mom, Barbara. And thank you for your dad. service, young man. Absolutely. Rolling here to the near side. He's going to go underneath here. Kelly's going to throw it. Throws it downfield and on that B, that's going to be intercepted. Yes. I-N-T, baby. And it's intercepted down there by who else? How about this play by Owen Atwood again? Mr. Atwood. It's the Atwood show tonight. And the ball's Both at the 28-yard line. I guess you could look at it this way and say, well, we've got a flag back here at about the 25-yard line. That could be. Stand the way they're reacting, that might be roughing the pass. Oh, no. Let's watch the replay. Well, yeah, let's see if we can see a replay again. Yeah, because their offense is staying out there. And Coach Bowley is not a happy trooper. Personal foul, roughing the passer. That's what they call. Well, that keeps that's, Jackson Christian. That would have been a nice punt, but Atwood's INT will be wiped off. And Stan, See, here, here's the thing, break. though. You had our guy within two yards of him charging. I don't think that's roughing the passer. Well, I, I really don't. It gives them new life, and they was, being Jackson Christian. And that was right at the line of scrimmage. Boy, with Kelly out there, anything's possible too, Stan. 707 left. He scares you to death. And Coach is wearing the white hat out. He's still talking to him. Coach Bowling pointing a finger at him. Now they both nod their head in a positive way, but I don't think uh, Coach Bowling's happy about being Man, positive. Look, look at the way he paces the sideline. He does. Took that jacket off, and it's been a different game. The Lions have totally outplayed Jackson Christian in every facet here. And you put yours on, it made a difference. I sure did. They move the ball up to the 41. It's going to be first and 10 there. Well, that means in the playoffs, I'm buying you a parka. Playoffs. Playoffs. 41 yard line, first and 10. Lions lead the game by 10 after being down by 14 at the break. Wherever you may be in the country, around the area, and around the world, TCA football tonight. They go with the counter buck and running that ball and a nice trip up as Easton Jones had some momentum. He's going to get positive yards, but not much. And Stan, who got a hand on him around well, the shoelaces? We're going to see. Good play. Look at the penetration. That is hammering Hank Miller. Yep. Here's another play, and Easton Jones has positive room this time. Goes outside, he gets the first down. He's at the TCA 49-yard line, got it by about a yard, 8.40 the clock running. Or excuse me, 6.40 the clock running. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. Remember, as long as the clock is moving, the clock is our friend. TCA trying to win this region. Throw it out here in the flat, caught. Five-yard pickup. By Trent Carrier. 
That's the first time they've thrown a carriage. Now he had 256 yards coming in. They tried to go to him earlier in the game, Stan, but it didn't come close. Second down and five. You may be right, though. There may have been someone else. Harrison Vance made the stop. Second down and five. A long five. Kelly, back near midfield on the purple tee. will zing it downfield, and it's dropped. Oh, dropped it. Woo. In trouble. Carrier in because, traffic, because, I should say. Because look at that. He got Probably should have caught it. Yeah, he had a step around him. Boy, Kelly can zing him, can he? Yeah, and we're getting penetration. He still, though. Ball should have yeah, been caught. Yeah, he Still, though, if, if you yeah, know, we're not going to be able to see it again, but if, if you saw it, watch the line. Of, you should see the line of protection that was around Kelly. They for, they for, they formed a shield around him. It third looked like down, he was pressure more than he was. Two down territory. Third down and five for the TCA 45. Kelly rows right, wants to throw. He's got to tuck it and run, and they'll break the tackle, break another tackle, break another tackle. He's inside the 35 to the 34. With six minutes left, they'll stop the clock to move the chains again. Kelly did that all on his own stand. Yeah. He's now got more yards rushing in this ball game than he does had on the season. Just the about. junior quarterback trying to keep his team, put him on his shoulders right now. Gives it to Deuce Lawrence this time, far side right, and the Lions corral him and stop him at the 30. Maybe a two Picks yard. up a couple of yards, yep. Clock running, 549. Run, clock, run. Yep. If you're a TCA fan, it can't run enough. If you're a Jackson Christian fan, you want it to slow down. TCA up by 10 with 5.30 left of the game. Second down and eight at the TCA 32. Kelly drops, plenty of time, plenty of time. Throws it and incomplete. Threw that one low, gave Lee on the coverage as he tried to go downfield to his receiver and just threw it too low, Stan, in the turf. Gabe uh, took a little shot in the schnauzer, I think. We talked last week and we bragged every week about his development being one of the big keys to this team. Well, here, here's the deal. A lot of people at the beginning of the year were criticizing Gabe because he gave up a few touchdowns. But his progression from the first two weeks of the season to today is phenomenal. Third down and long seven, short eight. And now I think Jackson Christian's called it. No, TCA called the time. That's a good time out, yeah. Stan. It's going to be a 30 along the line, 27-17. TCA leads by 10, 5-23. We'll take a 30, be back. Line defense trying to stop them. Back after this on the TCA Football Network. Diamond Dave, 5-23 remaining. This is a two-score game. We're up by 10. Lions, 24 unanswered points in this half with 5-23, third down and a short eight. Kelly, play fakes, rolls this way. The Pressure. Lions have a beat on him, and here he comes right at us, and he'll just go out of bounds, and that's going to be a flag. Well, we may have no. got away with one. They drug him out of bounds. And Vance got there, and Stan, we may have got a break not being a penalty there. Uh, Would you agree? There was. Let's see here. Love Harrison to death. No, I yeah, can't tell. You could have called one and probably not had a lot to gripe well, about. You had, well, you had two officials yard, right there. A loss of a yard, fourth and 11. You had two officials right there, and trust me. A loss me, of more than a yard, Dave. It was a loss of about three, wasn't it, Stan? If, 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 yep, if, didn't call it. If it was going to happen. Well, here's your game, Stan. 5-16 left in the game. You're oh, up by 10. If your defense stops here, you're probably going to win the game. Well, I'm not, not over. But I'm not willing to say that yet. A good chance to win it. The crowd on their feet. Fourth and 11. The pass downfield. Tip. It's picked up. Intercepted. Off. Caleb Williams has it. The tight end, it went off his hands. And unable to control it was Daniel Green. And boy, Jackson Christians made mistake after mistake. And the Lions have capitalized. And Caleb Williams comes up with the biggest INT of his young life. Oh, and, and get you remember the basketball game at TCA last year when Mosley hit that Half-court shot at the buzzer. Payback, baby. Payback. Well, the ball will be marked at the 27-yard line. A couple of first downs, and you can put this W on the left side, folks. First and 10. I'm sorry? 
No, I, Caleb Williams. Oh, Caleb Williams. Number two got it, Caleb Williams. Trying to help the folks out next door. First and 10, Lakai, LT, dances, scoots his way, it didn't get anything. They knock him down at the line of scrimmage. He's gonna get one out of it, maybe half a yard. Clock running under five minutes. You get 40 on the play clock, and TCA will drain it for all it's worth. Second and almost 10, second and a short, a long nine. Diamond, I think two first downs gets you. Oh, no doubt about it. Now, you didn't agree with me a moment ago. You said you weren't going to go that way, but I'm, I am. I think one first down, Stan, you got a great chance to uh, win it. I'm, I'm, I'm just, Two, we win it. Second down my, and nine. Yeah, you know, just like in the game of love, my heart's been broken on the foot field, football field so many times Nick in Mancini my life. says, let's go Lions. I agree, Nick. Second down and nine. LT time again. He's got some blockers in front of him, but they're going to corral him in the backfield. Just LT hanging on. Hang on and follow the turf at the 25-yard line. A loss. Well, about three. It's going to be third down now and about 12 yards. Four minutes, under four minutes when they snap it this time. Stan, you, look, you do your math. The sh play clock's at 30 seconds right now, and we're under four minutes. You run another 30. If you run the ball again, you get another. I mean, you and get it down. We're to, rolling. There's 25. They would, they would get it down with about two and a half minutes left. He's going to snap at about 325. Yep. Play clock should. at 19 down to 18. They try to draw Jackson Christian offside. That does not work. 3.41 left. There you see the freak, Chris Tucker. Play clock at nine, down to eight, down to seven, down to six, down to five. Vales has it, gives it to LT. LT will not get much. They'll push him back at about the 26 or seven yard line. And now Jackson Christian calls a timeout. Yeah. Timeout on the field, 3.23 left, 27-17. They're gonna have more than I thought. And it's going to be the Lions having to punt it away in their own, from their own territory, leading the game by 10 back after this 30 on Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Diamond name, reminiscing from the old days, the last time TCA was a region champion. We're not, gonna, we're not prepared to say that yet, but uh, Easter Colby, Jones, yep, good snap. Easton Jones. A great punt. Very dangerous one. Stands near his own 40. Kobe Moore, the long snapper, gets it to Delt. Delt will bunt it out, punt it out of there. <laughs> and it's going to be Jones back eight. Bobble, the ball drops. It's loose. Jones falls on it back oh. at the 32 yard line. Woo. I'm telling you, Stan, we he played great. We're, we're not uh, giving up yet. We have played great, but Jackson Christian has really bobbled the ball around a lot in this half, haven't they? Diamond, they've done a lot of the things. They've done a lot of the things that we've done in years past, don't you right. think? Exactly. It's Jackson Christian's ball. And who was that that was in there rooting? Waller was trying to root in there and get that ball. That's fine. You never know when you're, when you're going to get one like that. Emily Dutz says, let's go Lions. Yeah. Danette yeah. says, defense. I agree. May Webb says, let's put it in the house, folks. Keep it up. First and 10, Lions, or excuse me, Eagles at their own 31-yard line. 314, all that remains in the game. Well, notate that on my score sheet here. Lions have scored 24 unanswered. Yes, it was a deadly blow for Eagles when Mosley could not return after defending a play in the end zone. But the Lions trail 17 to three at the break. They lead now 27-17. And the crowd has been into this game as much as I've heard a crowd here in years. My, oh my. Great production by the music. Clint Reed's done a great job. Jay's done a great job. And I like this music we're playing these Justin days. Justin Miller down there as well. Not over, especially with a quarterback of this kid's nature. Two touchdowns tonight, 36 on the year. And the, and the drum corps joining in with it. And they're going to mark off. No, they just moved the ball up to 33 to get the spot right. First and 10. They had to get our game ball off the field. Kelly in the Blitz. pocket on the fly pattern, trying to hit his receiver down there, and it's incomplete. 
Great Our coverage. defense has been much better, and the guy defending that time, how about this, Owen Atwood again. And the thing was, he threw into the best coverage we had on the field. Sean Davis says defense, let's go. Amy Lawrence, same thing. Wasn't, wasn't really, Jeremy Milkelson. It wasn't bad by anybody, no. but he threw in the toughest part of the coverage on that play. Second down and 10. <laughs> you got to be on your toes if you're defensive back against this kid. But the Lions have been Johnny on the spot. Remember, three big plays for Jackson Christian in the game. A 45-yard run by Deuce Lawrence. Touchdown pass to Easton Jones. Early in the game, touchdown pass to Mosley. Dropping back, Kelly wants to throw it. They flush him out of the pocket. They've got people after him. Kelly will run out of bounds across the way after picking up two or three yards up to about the 36 or seven. C.J. Lewis chases him out of bounds. C.J.'s had a really good year, yeah, too. Yeah, he, since he's been come eligible, he's played very well. And, and, and how the play of Nick Paguaga has been really underappreciated this year, I think. Well, Stan, you got to win that first playoff game, but, boy, being at home to the semifinals is big, isn't it, if you can put yeah. this thing away. A win here also gets you a bye week next week. Helps me out, too, with my real job getting here on time. 27-17, I've got soccer and everything else going on. Now basketball tomorrow. I've got two basketball games tomorrow and two Saturday. Look at this. Here's Kelly rolling out, throwing it away. And the reason he threw it away, Hammer and Hank and others were back here in his wheelhouse. <laughs> this crowd, you can sense it, Stan, is ready to explode. The student body likewise. It is fourth at, and eight. Lakai Tompkins coming on the defense on the top side. How screaming. about Addison Coleman, former player here? Turned on the game he said a couple of minutes ago. I didn't expect this. Let's go. You got that, Addison. Oh, Addison, you have, ye of little faith. We're, remember, Stan, you and I both were pretty positive off mic at halftime, despite the fact yeah. we had 17 to 3. I mean, we were wondering what was going on. I kept on, telling but... you, if we scored the first series, it would be a different game. And we did. And then we got turnovers. Well, you like Kelly show. dropping back. Kelly throwing. Intercepted. Schlink Nick's got it. Go, 35 baby. 30. 25. And Schlink Nick Jones falls down Safe at the 25 yard line. And the Safe. Lions are going to upset the Eagles. Tell you what. Wow. Nick Jones, a fine baseball player as well. When he gets it, slides in the third with a triple. Watch the replay of this on Worthy Road Studios and the ball game blitz and Stan. What do they call here? I don't know. They stop play. They still got fourth down over there. That's got to be TCA's ball. They just hadn't changed it yet. Nick Jones has had one of the games of his life. One of the seniors. Oh, wait a minute. There it's going to be, I think it's going to be a Penalty on TC after the INT, I okay, believe. Okay, yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, because Kelly is not out there at quarterback. Block, block in the back. Yeah, block athlete. in the back. That's okay. They say personal foul, actually. Well. So at the 46-yard line. I don't Nick care. Nick Mancini says, slick Nick having the game of his life. Nick, I pre. Uh, well, I what we say, you. Diamond, you know, well, they're we got have big war. Nick. We got tricky Nick. Slick Nick. Slick is what we go with. Lee Garrett says, way to go, Lions. And, and, and all I can respond with is, Woo! 46-yard line, first and 10. Some of the Eagle fans head to the house across the way. First Biggest and crowd 10. in a long time for a TCA Great game. Great football team, the Eagles. The Lions have been better tonight, especially in the second half, and Lakai Tompkins plows his way, literally, inside the 40. Well, how about Coach Bowling? This will be his 247th win, and one of, I think, probably his sweetest, one of his sweetest. Of course, you can't take away the four state titles. That was no. going to be super sweet. But regular season, this has got a big, big one up there for him. Oh. I heard your interview, Stan. He said, I was getting used to the kids. They didn't know me. I didn't know them. But he's really proud of how this team has bonded and came together all year long. We're in the jumbo now. In the jumbo package. And Lakai will just take it and see what he can get. Vales gives it to LT. LT gets yardage near the first Close. down chain. To about the 37, got about a yard short to go in a minute 55. And many of the folks standing and this crowd is going to go home happy tonight on senior night, a night that these kids will remember for a lifetime. 41 carries unofficially, 179 yards on the night. Doodle Butler says, how about Owen and Zane? Meanwhile, <laughs> it is uh, Melissa Carson again with us. I can't, Rob I Deloach, can't, way to go Lions. I Rob, our buddy over in Humboldt. An individual MVP. There's just too many of them. Uh, you got to give it to the entire team. 
third down in the yard. You could start with the Atwoods. You could finish with Tompkins, Bales. Been, I mean, it's just been great. Hammer and Hank, all of them. First down, and if there was ever any doubt, that sealed the deal there. Tompkins to the 35, and the crowd loves it. And the Lions are going to beat the number one ranked team, Jackson Christian, and their quest for an undefeated regular season will go by the board as the Lions have scored 24 and answered to lead the game by 10. You know, when Colby Moore and his group was was in the middle of school, Jackson Christian came in here with a three-year undefeated streak, and Colby and company shut them down. Colby and company shut them down and take away a chance for a perfect season. And we'll hand this one tonight. Most valuable player, even Team. though he's not here, Big Ed Moore. How about that, Stan? That'll work. Give it to Big Ed. First, our coach high in the sky. Yep. Lakai again, the workhorse, continues to be just that. They bulldog all game down at about the 34. Well, certainly, Stan, we hope that uh, Mosley's not hurt to the point that he can't play anymore. Let's hope he gets back. Down to 50 seconds in the game. TCA leads it 27 to 17. Second down and 10. And it will be at the 35 yard line, 34 yard line. The play clock reset at 40. Game clock at 50.2. Coach Bowling's ball club's gonna move to eight and two, five and oh in the region, be the region champs. Jackson Christian will fall to nine and one and five and one. Oh my. And I'm not sure what the White Hat's telling everybody here, but. Stay off the field. I guess. I'm not sure. Well, again, Stan, yeah, we, 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 we hope no, Mosley's okay. Yeah. He didn't come back after going no. out in that first half. But a great player, a great kid, yeah. we understand. And I really pray that he's not through for the year. No, he's an outstanding player. Did it, did it make a difference in this game? I can't say that, but probably. Leanne Tippett tuned in. But you can't. And yet Pitt's back with us. You cannot. Rachel Miller now. Davis how well we played in this second half. Uh, as good as I've seen a TCA team play ever in the second half, to be honest with you. It is a 27-17 game, and the Lions down 17-3 to at the break. And this crowd has been a big factor, too. Oh, They've really been in the ball game, no doubt I about mean, it. Diamond, they're rail birds all the way around Clint this Reed's field. Got, Clint Reed's on top of his game. He's still believing the song, you know, God believe, buddy. Small town girl, small town boy from Detroit, remember? Don't stop believing. <laughs> I know you don't like it, but I love it. I, I'm not a big. Uh, I don't care if you're not either. I, I love the song, care. and this crowd care. deserves it. <laughs> Here's the handoff to the guy, and that's going to do it. Well, 47 seconds. It is sweet perfume at the moment, as this line crowd is loving it. And do we have to take another Yosha snap? Craig. No, we, we do not. No, the, the play clock is at 34. Two seconds, about two second differential. And you the Lions it. came off the deck, down 17 to three at the break, 24 unanswered. And they're gonna win this region championship. A night of history for the Lions. Third down and they're in the victory formation with Waller standing 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Bales will take it, he'll just take the knee. Down to 10, down to 9, down to 8, down to 7, down to 6, down to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The TCA Lions are the region champs with a 27 to 17 comeback victory over Jackson Christian. And Diamond Dave, the late great Jackie Gleason. Oh, how sweet it is. We'll take a two minute break. Be back. Scoring recap, especially the second half. Stats. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. 
In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a division of McKenzie Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Welcome back, everybody. The Lions scored 24 unanswered in the second half, down 17 to 3 at the break. They storm back and win this game, and they win the region championship. I'm Dave McCulley, along with Stan Gerard. Been an honor all these years to cover TCA, and a happy night tonight for all of us in the Lion Nation. The Lions come storming back, win the game 27-17, and Stan Gerard, one of the more remarkable comebacks, one of the more remarkable halves you'll ever see out of any team, and our Lions do just that tonight. All heart from this team tonight. You know, when, when the chips were down, when it was 17-3, and we're, you know, what is going on? TCA coach, the team stayed the course. They stuck to the game plan. They stuck to the game plan and it ended up working, and it, it's just wild. I just got to say, I got the phone with a good friend of mine, Tom Anderson. He's a big he's a big deal at Columbia Academy. All I could say was, my friend, I'll meet you in Chattanooga. And uh, that that's the way it will happen. Believe it or not, now TC this could this could only be the first of two rounds. These teams could play again this year. In the state championship game, wouldn't that be something if that were to happen? Jackson Christian and TCA playing for a state championship. And believe you me, this Jackson Christian bunch has proved that they are good enough. But TCA knocked on and said, we're, we're in this conversation, dude. Everybody all year doubted us. And, and taking nothing away from Jackson Christian, but everybody Dallas, nobody gave us a chance, Diamond Dave. Well, I'm not a betting man, but I wouldn't bet against the fact that they might meet again. And on a personal note, I wouldn't mind it a bit. Jackson Christian's a worthy opponent. They're a great football team. They played the entire second half and some of the second quarter without their superstar mostly. And let's just hope he's okay. Another player was injured for them as well. They took him off on carts. And say a little prayer for those kids if you would. But tonight, it's TCA night. The Lions scored 24 and answered. And Stan, remember, you and I kept talking at halftime off mic. The third quarter, the first possession, the first series, I thought would be the deciding factor in the game. And I really can't tell you that it wasn't. I mean, they came back. They got within 17 to 10. And then the Lions forced some turnovers. And the Eagles committed some not like them turnovers. And the Lions took advantage, and they win the game by 10. And don't forget, we're going to try, we're trying our best to get Coach up here after the game. Uh, some folks are going to try and get him to stick around. Don't leave us yet. We hope to have the head coach of the TCA Lions, Darren Bowling, up here in just a matter of moments. He's meeting with his team right now, and hopefully we can get him after this game. Let's take a quick break, and we're back after this. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. 
Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. Welcome back, everybody. Post game continuing here as we await the arrival of Coach Bowling. While we do that, we'll give you the scoring recap of the game. At the 9.53 mark of the first stanza, Mosley caught a pass, 60-yard pass from Kelly. PAT by Cisco made it 7-0. 9.53 of the first, Jackson Christian took the lead. They extended the lead with a 24-yard field goal by Cisco at the 10.26 mark of the second stanza, the lead 10-0. Remember, TCA had a 22-yard field goal attempt blocked. 30-yard field goal by Willard at the 119 mark made it 10-3. Lions trail by seven. And then with 49 seconds left, Kelly to Easton Jones, a 62-yard strike. PAT by Cisco made it 17-3. That's where we were at the halftime. We'll talk to Coach Bowling, and then we'll recapture the second half scoring for you. Coach, congratulations. I said that uh, you've won four state titles, and those title games had to be big, but this has to be one of the sweetest Sweetest regular season games ever, and I heard your interview with Stan before the game. You talked about when you got here, you didn't know the kids, they didn't know you, but you guys were bonded, and you're so proud of how this team has developed, and you are the region champs. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I, I love these guys, man. I'm telling you, uh, it's something that grows over time, of course, and, and uh, in the course of this past spring, the summer, the fall, these guys have really, really, really won my heart, and uh, they're very proud. I'm so, I'm so proud for these seniors sure. tonight, you know, because uh, this is their last hoorah right here, and, and it gives them an opportunity to uh, go out in fashion, and, and they deserve it because they, they've they been the leaders that accepted me sure. as a coach. If the seniors don't accept you, Nobody else is going to accept you. And you said with no disrespect to previous seniors and previous teams that you thought these kids were the trailblazers right now for a new era. Right, yeah, for a new for a new era. I mean, nothing nothing about what TCA football has been. The heritage sure. is what, where we sure. are, and, and and those things got us to where we are today, you know. So uh, hats off to Holden and, and, you know, everybody that's come before, you know, and, and coaches and players. But, uh Tonight was about these guys. I got to feel like Coach Odom and Coach Butler are probably smiling back at their abodes tonight as well. They will be, yeah, you know, absolutely. That's the kind of guys they are. You know? And they're, they were invested a lot of these kids too. I, I, there were a lot of keys, but first I'm going to get a little levity out of the way. I thought the whole key to the game was when you came out of the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got hot in that, in that locker room at halftime. <laughs> Let me just say that. So. Well, Coach, you're down. Uh, you're down 17 to three, and then you come back. And I kept telling Stan and Philip here, if we score this first initial series. I thought we had a great chance to win the game. It's exactly what happened. We forced some turnovers, and then it just sort of 
everything fell in place for us. Well, you know, that's what I told them at halftime. you got to learn how to win games like this. Sure. You, know, you, you don't win games like this by pointing fingers and complaining and, and getting aggravated and, and that kind of stuff. I said, you win games like this by coming closer and closer together. And uh, I said, if you go out there this half and you play as a team like I know you can, you know, you, you got a chance to come back. But you're not going to come back if you keep going out there and, and uh, you know, bashing each other and stuff like that. It's not going to happen. It never will in the history of football. Sure. It's not going to happen. Coach Lakai Tompkins unofficially at like 180 yards. Didn't have anything huge all night, but you can tell he brought his he brought his little steel lunchbox to work and he just flat went to work all night, four and five yards at a time, ground pounding it all night long. Yeah, and your game plan was to keep their offense off the field right, too. Yeah. Know, uh, big games are, are won by ball control, you know, being able to control the clock and, and control the football and special teams and uh, and defense and i thought in all aspects of those things tonight i thought we did really well defense played really really well uh special teams did real well for us and uh and i thought the ball control offense kind of kept their defense on the field a little bit and kept our defense off coach another factor too in the ball game i mean shan and i were <laughs> at the end of the game we were speculating on mike most valuable player it's a team most valuable player. And I, I would, I wouldn't dare try to pick. I mean, Lakai, great run, no doubt. Bales threw some bullets out there. Oh, Hammer and Hank. Oh, that would. They were great tonight. Right. But you couldn't put a pin on the most valuable player. Yeah. This was a great team effort. Yeah, and don't forget Nick Jones makes some oh, great Oh, slick Nick. Yeah, that's right. You know? So I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, you could go across the board. Vance up front. Dan, you know, has been sick all week long, and he showed up to practice every day because he knew. You know, he showed up practice with fever and everything else because he knew what my what rules are and the play you got to be here. Coach, talk and analyze the plays where Nick kept getting open over this near side so many times. What would you see there? Well, the corners were coming up strong whenever they saw option uh, type deal, so we just took advantage of that. We'd fake it to Kai in there, and the corners would come up and leave a hole behind him, so we'd just curl in behind sure. that guy. It paid dividends, didn't it? Yeah. Coach, looking at a couple of other scores, things we're going to need to know about later on. It, Middle Tennessee is your East champion, uh, dominating Ezel tonight. Providence Christian wins. Columbia Academy knocks off Grace 49-14, to a game that we're going to be interested in now. DCA 35, Nashville Christian 17 in that ball game. We can probably expect to see one of those two teams in the coming couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, hey. Right now, it's about enjoying the night, sure. uh, letting these guys have a, have a, a you know, hey, Friday, we, we've still got school tomorrow, believe it or not. I mean, <laughs> it's Thursday night football game. It just hit me that I've got to get up and get to school tomorrow. But, let, me, uh, let me guess, the I, lesson plan is going to be a little light. i to sit here all night and talk to you all. i got to get to bed. You know? Yeah, it's past bedtime for you and me. <laughs> you and me coach. Well, Coach, congratulations. I know you share it with your family. I see them out there after every game giving you hugs and, uh, win or lose, you know, you lost twice all year. But bottom line is, what a great team victory. Crowd was great tonight, too. Oh, it? yeah. And, and the student body, is, we got the best. The band, uh, the, the core, the drum core, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. The drum line getting out and the fans in general. I mean, it, it's just, uh, it was a good night of football, good atmosphere on both sides, I think. Sure. And, uh, uh, you know, I just uh, hope Mosley's good. I hope he's okay. I do, know, too. I said that in the air. Yeah, I sure did, uh, yeah. You great player. You see a good player like that go down. Uh, and so, hopefully, hopefully he'll be back and he'll be fine. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. The Lions win it. They scored 24 unanswered in the second half. They come back from a 17-3 deficit, win a game 27-17. There's someone in the box wearing an Alabama shirt back there behind me. All right. Well, let's take another break. We'll take our last break, a one-minute break, Phil. We'll come back, complete that scoring recap. It's back right over there. And they come on in here and come around that way. And the young lady's lost her phone, and we're trying to help her find her phone. Come Football right is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to 16000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pool's massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. 
Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Thanks to our teammates tonight, Bradley Wyman, the camera, Philip Robertson, our producer and director, Jay Cashett, our executive producer and director, although he paced most of the game, especially the second half, but did a great job as always. We'll pick up that scoring recap. Thanks so much to the gracious Coach Bowling as the Lions win the game 27-17. 7-16, mark of the third stanza. Four-yard Atwood catch from Vales, and it made it 17-10 after the PAT by Willard. After a turnover, the Lions move in from 25 yards, eight-yard Toss this time, Vales on the option, and it was LT make, tying the game at 17 all. That the 126 mark, third quarter, 29 yard field goal by Willard gave the Lions their first lead, 20 to 17. And then Vales to Delk, icing on the cake, 32 yards, although it came with plenty of time left in the game. But the Lions win at 27 17 stand. A few quick stats here for you. Officially, Lakai Tompkins, uh, let's see. 40, 41, 43 carries, 183 yards, officially a touchdown. Waller with a couple of catches for eight. Delk with a 32-yarder for a score. Atwood with a score. And Jones with three catches. Another one for a touchdown. There were 7, 12, and 14 yards. But how huge were each and every one of those catches by Slick Nick? Follow the TCA Facebook page. Stan will have it, too, on his West Tennessee sports page. And we'll have it on, of course, uh, the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios, who the opponent will be next week. But we'll be here for the action. The Lions win it 27-17. We will have a bye week next week. As, okay, we do have a bye week. Okay, I'm we, sorry. We I apologize have a, for that. We I know a, I work in McKenzie, although I live here, and I know everyone up there has to play the first round. Yeah, yeah we okay. have to. Uh, if, if you fo later on this evening, you can check West Tennessee Sports. I'll have a complete statewide scoreboard. I'm so glad because I was trying to figure out how I was going to do two basketball games next week and the football game as well, and although I did have a game plan, Phil. And I will also have the state bracket for Division II Class A. On West Tennessee Sports. Everything, is, everything, everything. You know, who plays I know. Who? You never sleep. You'll be up at 4 o'clock. I'll, I'll be on the way to work in the morning, and you'll still be up. Yes, I will. All right, the happy final stand. Our special thanks again to Philip. Great job, sir. Bradley White, super job on the camera, and for uh, Paul Schultze, and for, of course, uh, our executive producer and director, Jay Cashin. I've got to get this equipment packed up because I've got a date to do a couple of laps around the track. All right. 27-17, the Lions storm from behind. And again, our thoughts and prayers with Mosley and uh, the Eagles that were hurt. We certainly pray that they'll be okay and be able to return. That's going to wrap it up. 24 unanswered in the second half. The Lions win it 27-17 from TCA. The happy final again. Let me say it one more time. 27-17 lines. Good night, everybody.